আজকের এই বিশেষ দিনে আগত সকল সন্ন্যাসী বিদায়ী ছাত্র বর্তমান ছাত্র প্রাক্তনী অতিথি শুভানুধ্যায়ী শিক্ষক অশিক্ষক সবাইকে স্বাগত জানাই তিনি আজ স্নাতক এবং স্নাতকোত্তর ছাত্রদের উপাধিও প্রদান করবেন প্রধান অতিথি হিসাবে থাকবেন অধ্যাপক রঞ্জন সেন যিনি আজকের সভায় সমাবর্তন ভাষণ দেবেন এছাড়াও মঞ্চে উপস্থিত থাকবেন আশ্রম সম্পাদক শ্রদ্ধেয় স্বামী শাস্ত্রজ্ঞানন্দজি মহারাজ এবং মহাবিদ্যালয়ের অধ্যক্ষ পূজনীয় স্বামী একচিত্তানন্দজি মহারাজ অনুষ্ঠানের মূল পর্বে যাওয়ার আগে কিছু কথা ক্রমিক সংখ্যা অনুযায়ী যেভাবে অধ্যাপকরা নির্দেশ করবেন সেভাবেই বসতে হবে প্রথমে স্নাতকোত্তর বিদায়ী ছাত্ররা ও পরে স্নাতক স্তরের বিদায়ী ছাত্ররা আসীন হবে অনুপস্থিত ছাত্রের আসন খালি থাকবে সংশ্লিষ্ট বিভাগের প্রধানরা বা প্রতিনিধিরা বিদায়ী ছাত্রদের নাম ধরে ডাকবেন এবং সেই ক্রম অনুসারে সারিবদ্ধভাবে মঞ্চ থেকে মঞ্চে উঠে অর্থাৎ আমার সামনে দিয়ে সামনের সিঁড়ি দিয়ে মঞ্চে উঠে শংসাপত্র গ্রহণ করে বিপরীত প্রান্তে অর্থাৎ মঞ্চের বাম দিক দিয়ে সিঁড়ি দিয়ে নেমে নিজের নির্দিষ্ট স্থানে বসতে হবে মঞ্চে ওঠার জন্যে জুতো খোলার প্রয়োজন নেই গতবারের মতো এবারেও শংসাপত্র গ্রহণের বিশেষ মুহূর্ত তুলে ধরার জন্যে বিশেষ ফটোগ্রাফার থাকবেন এবং সকল ছবি পরে ওয়েবসাইটে পাওয়া যাবে তাই বসার নির্দিষ্ট স্থান ছেড়ে বাইরে এসে অযথা ছবি তোলা বা ঘোরাঘুরি করা কাম্য নয় মহাবিদ্যালয়ের বর্তমান ছাত্রদের উদ্দেশ্যে বলছি শান্তিপূর্ণভাবে শৃঙ্খলাবদ্ধভাবে বসবে মঞ্চে বিদায়ী ছাত্ররা যখন শংসাপত্র গ্রহণ করবে তখন তাদেরকে করতালির মাধ্যমে তোমরা সংবর্ধনা জানিও ঠিক যখন সমাবর্তনের বিশেষ শোভাযাত্রা শুরু হবে তখন আমরা সবাই উঠে দাঁড়িয়ে তাকে সম্মান জানাব মঞ্চে সম্মানীয় অতিথিরা উপবিষ্ট হলে তবেই নিজের নিজের জায়গায় বসব সুষ্ঠুভাবে অনুষ্ঠান পরিচালনাতে সকলে সহযোগিতা একান্তভাবে প্রার্থনা করি দ্য গ্র্যাজুয়েটিং স্টুডেন্টস আর রিকোয়েস্টেড টু টেক দেয়ার সিটস ইন অর্ডার অফ রোল নাম্বার্স as guided by the respective faculty members the seating order of students will begin with post graduating students of the departments of chemistry computer science english and physics and it will be followed by graduating students of the departments of bengali chemistry computer science economics english history mathematics physics philosophy political science sanskrit and statistics please carefully find the sticker containing your roll number and name before taking your seats if any student is missing let the seat be vacant all the graduating students will certificate will receive their certificates from respected dignitaries on the day please pay attention to this important message the heads of the departments will call the names of the graduating students and the students will form a queue to collect the certificates students will come up on the dais from my right side of the stage that is through the stairs on my front and collect their certificates and then exit from the opposite side of the stage following the stairs there and again take their allotted seats please note that there is no need to remove your footwear while coming onto the dais no one should halt midway or stop for any other reason on his way on and off the days you will be glad to know that we have professional photographer and videographer to capture the precious moments of this ceremony hence no personal photographs from the front will be entertained photographs may be taken from your seats all the photographs and video will be uploaded to our website college website later and will be available for downloading so please maintain silence and avoid anything that disturbs the harmony and smooth functioning of today's ceremony the present students of our college are requested to sit in the auditorium as guided by the teachers and volunteers please enjoy this glorious day only with occasional claps please maintain silence and cooperate with us in smooth functioning of the ceremony when the ceremonial procession enters this auditorium we will honor that by standing up and remain so till all the dignitaries are seated on the dais please make no sound create no chaos 
and stand still during the procession. May I request all of you to put your mobile phones into silent mode. I'm sure you all have done that, but still I request you to check it again so that any unexpected sound from your mobile phone does not violate the harmony of the ceremony. The 12th Convocation Ceremony of Ramakrishna Mission Residential College, Narendrapur, with the prestigious ceremonial procession, we will remain standing till all the dignitaries take their seats on the days. Our students, Sri Shankho Dash and Aritra Shengupta, will now chant Shiva Shankal Pushuktam during the ceremonial procession. Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvinavadhetamastuma Vidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Yajjagrato Dura Mudaiti Daivanta Dusukta Syata Taivaiti Duranga Manjoti Shanjoti Rekan Tan Me Manashiva Sankalpamastu Ye nakaramarnya paso manishino, agne krinvanti vidate shudhira. Yada purvai yakshamantaf prajanantan me mana shiva sankalpamastu. Yad pragnana mutache to dritishcha yad jyoti rantaram ritam prajasu Yasmana rite kinchana karma kriyate tan me manash shiva sankalpamastu Ye nedam bhutam bhuvanam bhavishya Parigrihita mamrite na sarvam Yena yagnya stayate sapta ho tatan me mana shiva sankalpamastu Yasmin richasamaya jogam shi yasmin pratishtitarathana bha vivara Yasmigam shittagam sarvamotam prajanantan me mana shiva sankalpamastu Susharati rashwadiva yan manupyan ne niyati bhishu bhirvajina iva Rit pratishthayyada jiranja vishthan tan me mana shiva sankalpamastu Om shanti 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 hari om Yajjagrato dura mudaiti daivanta du supta syata thaivaiti Duranga manjyoti shanjyoti rekam tan me mana shiva sankalpamastu Yena karamarnya paso manishino yagye krinvanti vidathe shudhira Yad purvai yakshamantaf prajanantan me mana shiva sankalpamastu Yad pragnana mutache todhritishcha yad jyoti rantaram ritam prajasu Yasmana rite kinchana karma kriyate tan me mana shiva sankalpamastu E nedam bhutam bhuvanam bhavishya parigrihita mamrite na sarvam E na yagnya stayate sapta ho tatan me mana shiva sankalpamastu 
ಯಸ್ಮಿನ್ರಿಚಸ್ಸಾಮಯಜೋಗಂ ಶೇಯಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತಾರಥನಾಭಾವಿವಾರ ಯಸ್ಮಿಗಂ ಚಿತ್ತಗುಂಸರ್ವೋತ ಪ್ರಜಾನೇ ಮನ ಶಿವ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಮಸ್ತು ಸುಷಾರಥೇರಶ್ವಾನಿವಯನ್ಮನುಪ್ಯಾನ್ಯೇನೀಯತೆ ಭೀಷುಭಿರ್ವಾಜಿನ ಇವ ಹೃತ್ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠೈಯದಚಿರಂಜವಿಷ್ಠನ್ಮನ ಶಿವ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಮಸ್ತು ಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿಶಾಂತಿ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಟು ದ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯನುವಲ್ ಕಾನ್ವೊಕೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಿಷನ್ ರೆಸಿಡೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ನಾರಿಂದ್ರಪುರ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರೈಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಮೊಮೆಂಟಸ್ ಡೇ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲೆಂಡರ್ ವಿ ಫೀಲ್ ಪ್ರೌಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾವು ಜಾಯ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಟೀಜಿಯಸ್ ಅಲುಮ್ನಿ ನೆಟ್ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ವಿ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೌಶಿಕ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲಾನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಲ್ಕಟ್ಟ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಅಂಜುನ್ ಶೇನ್ ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟರ್ Indian Association for Cultivation of Sciences for finding out time from their busy schedule to grace this 12th annual convocation of our college. Please maintain silence. You have really made this day special and memorable for us. Today's occasion will be graced by Dr. Koushik Ball as President of the program and Conferred of the Degrees and Professor Anjun Shain as the Guest-in-Chief and Convocation Addresser. On the days we also have with us Rivyard Swami Shastrakananda Ji Maharaj Secretary Ramakrishna Mission Ashram Narendrapur and Swami Ekochittananda Ji Maharaj Principal of our college It is time for felicitation of our distinguished guests I now request Professor Prashanth Ranjan Ghosh Member Secretary of Academic Council of our college to kindly felicitate the guest in chief of today's program professor ranjan shain i request Professor Devabrata Dash, Secretary of Teachers Council of our college, to kindly felicitate the President of today's program, Dr. Koushik Ball. Now I request revered Swami Shastrakananda Ji Maharaj, the Secretary of the Ramakrishna Mission Ashram Narendrapur, to deliver the formal address of welcome, Maharaj. Om Namo Bhagavate Ramakrishnaya. I know this is the customary, that generally this convocation ceremony is conducted in English. but as the secretary of this institution i would like to speak in bengali because i belong to this bengali language and literature i am a student of that subject so now i will speak in bengali ajker ei samabortone উপস্থিত সকলকে স্বাগত জানাই বিশেষত আজকের আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানে সমাবর্তন ভাষণ দেওয়ার জন্য উপস্থিত হয়েছেন প্রফেসর রঞ্জন সেন আমাদের কাল্টিভেশন অফ সায়েন্সেসের ডিরেক্টর তাকে আমাদের মধ্যে স্বাগত জানাই কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই এই প্রতিষ্ঠানের 
এমন একটি মহৎ অনুষ্ঠানে তিনি সম্মতি দিয়েছেন এসে পৌঁছেছেন বিশেষত ছাত্রদের জন্যে তার মূল্যবান ভাষণ প্রদানের জন্য অবশ্যই কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই স্বাগত জানাই শ্রী কৌশিক বলকে আমাদের বিশ কলকাতা বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের ডেভেলপমেন্ট অ্যান্ড প্ল্যানিং অফিসার একেবারে শেষ মুহূর্তে তাকে আমরা খবর দিয়েছি এবং তিনি তাতে রাজি হয়েছেন আমাদের এই অনুষ্ঠানে বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের প্রতিনিধি রূপে থাকার জন্য ব্যক্তিগতভাবে আমি ওনাকে চিনি অত্যন্ত কর্মী মানুষ এবং ব্যস্ত মানুষ তা সত্ত্বেও তিনি যে এসেছেন সে কারণে তাঁকে স্বাগত জানাই কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই বিশ্ববিদ্যালয়ের উপাচার্য প্রফেসর শান্তা দত্ত তাঁর আসার কথা ছিল কিন্তু খুব অসুস্থ হয়ে পড়েছেন আসতে পারেননি তিনি তার বার্তা মেসেজ আমাদের কাছে পাঠিয়েছেন তাকেও আমাদের অন্তরের স্বাগত জানাই কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাই অন্য যারা উপস্থিত হয়েছেন অভিভাবক অভিভাবিকারা প্রাক্তন প্রাক্তনী সংসদের প্রতিনিধিরা আমাদের গভর্নিং বডি বা আশ্রম ম্যানেজিং কমিটির প্রেসিডেন্ট রয়েছেন সদস্য প্রবীণ সদস্যরা রয়েছেন তাদের সকলকেই কলেজের পক্ষ থেকে আন্তরিক স্বাগত জানাই আমরা যারা শিক্ষক শিক্ষাকর্মী এবং ছাত্র মহারাজ আমরা তো আর আমাদের নিজেদের স্বাগত জানাতে পারি না আমরা আমাদের সবার পক্ষ থেকেই স্বাগত জানালাম উপস্থিত সমস্ত অতিথি অভ্যাগতদের আর আজকের অনুষ্ঠানের কেন্দ্রে রয়েছে যারা তারা সদ্য প্রাক্তনি হয়তো এখনো পূর্ণ প্রাক্তনি নয় আজকের বিকেল থেকে হয়ে যাবে তাদেরকে স্বাগত জানাব না অন্য কোনো ভাষায় সম্বোধন করব সেটা ভাবছিলাম সেটা ভাবতে ভাবতেই আমার আজকের এই স্বাগত ভাষণের সঙ্গে এই প্রতিষ্ঠান এবং ছাত্রদের উদ্দেশ্যে সামান্য কিছু যে কথা বলার অবসর সেটিকে গ্রহণ করছি উচ্চশিক্ষা প্রতিষ্ঠানে আমারও কেটেছে কয়েক বছর সৌভাগ্য হয়েছে এই প্রতিষ্ঠানেরও সঙ্গে প্রত্যক্ষভাবে যুক্ত থাকার আমার কথাগুলি তাই আমার ব্যক্তিগত অভিজ্ঞতারই উচ্চারণ মাত্র একটি শিক্ষা প্রতিষ্ঠানের সমাবর্তন অনুষ্ঠান আসলে কেবল তার ছাত্রদের জন্যে নয় বোধহয় তার সামগ্রিক শিক্ষা ব্যবস্থাকেই ফিরে দেখার দিন আজ এই মহাবিদ্যালয় প্রতি বছরের মতো সেই রকম একটি দিনে এসে আবার দাঁড়িয়েছে আজকে যে ছাত্রদের হাতে আমরা তাদের সামনের জীবনে এগিয়ে যাওয়ার বার্তাপত্র তুলে দিচ্ছি ডিগ্রি সার্টিফিকেটের আদলে সেটা কেবল তাদেরই জন্য গুরুত্বপূর্ণ এমন কথা কোনো দিনই ভেবে উঠতে পারিনি বারে বারে মনে হয়েছে এর সমধিক তাৎপর্য আমাদের সকলের ক্ষেত্রেই প্রযোজ্য এই শিক্ষা প্রতিষ্ঠানের ক্ষেত্রেও স্মরণীয় এ আমার গভীর বিশ্বাস ছাত্রেরা মুখ্যত যারা আজ ডিগ্রি পাবে তারা রামকৃষ্ণ মিশনের শিক্ষা প্রতিষ্ঠানে পড়ার ঝক্কি যে কত সেটা তোমরা নিশ্চয়ই সুখ দুঃখে বুঝেছ ভালো করেই কেবল শৃঙ্খলা পরায়ণ হও এমন আদেশ করে এই প্রতিষ্ঠান থেমে থাকত না কেন এমন করছ এই গুরুতর ভুরু কোঁচকানো প্রশ্ন নিয়ে হোস্টেলে ক্লাসরুমে খেলার মাঠে ডাইনিং হলে আশ্রমের গেটে 
সর্বত্র এক অনর পাঁচিল দিয়ে সে রেখেছে জানি অনেক সময় তোমাদের মনে হয়েছে এ আয়তন এমন অচল কেন এত বাধা বাঁধি আজকের মুক্তমনা সমাজের প্রগতির সামনে কি প্রয়োজনীয় আদৌ আদৌ বাঞ্ছিত এ নিয়ে বিকেলের চায়ের কাপে তুফান উঠেছে কতবার সমাজ মাধ্যমে হয়তো গোপনে কিছু আলাপ সংলাপ ও লেখালেখি হয়ে গেছে যৌবনের উন্মুখর জল তরঙ্গে উথাল পাথাল হতে হতে এই লৌহ কপাটের অর্গল অনর্গলের ইচ্ছা জেগেছে তোমাদের নিশ্চয়ই বহুবার আজ তাকিয়ে দেখো চোখের সামনে সেই দরজা খুলে গেছে তোমাদের জন্য চিরকালের তরে কোনো আবেগের কথা নয় কোনো বিতর্কের প্রলাপ নয় আজকের দিনে তোমাদের কাছে আমাদের কাছে এটাই বাস্তব সেই মুক্ত সংসারের উপলা স্তীর্ণ পথের উপর এবার শুধু একবার বারবার থমকে দাঁড়াও চারিদিকে মননের প্রশান্ত চোখগুলো মেলে তাকাও দেখবে এর অগুন্তি জানলার ধারে দাঁড়িয়ে আছে এক অনিঃশেষ জনতা শরীরে তারা গর্বিত কিন্তু আসলে অপুষ্ট মনে তারা অহংকার প্রমত্ত তাই রুগ্ন বুদ্ধিতে তারা উপার্জনের নেশায় বোধ তাই আসলে ক্ষীণকায় মননের পবিত্রতা হারিয়ে গেছে তাদের সীমাহীন ভোগের সংসারে তারা দিশে হারা নাবিক নিত্য লড়াই মারামারি চলেছে তাদের নিজেদেরই মধ্যে অদ্ভুত এই আধা রাজ চারদিকে নির্মম নীল নিষ্ঠুর এই মহাকাশ এই তোমাদের সামনে দাঁড়ানো অনর্গল সংসার তার সামনে এই তোমরা মুক্ত দিনের মুক্ত পথিক কিন্তু সত্যিই কি তোমরা এমনতর মুক্ত তাকে উপভোগ করতে পারবে এই জনতার দরবারে তোমরাও কি একই রকমের জীবনের আয়নার সামনেই দাঁড়াবে আমার কিন্তু এখানে সংশয় আছে এখানেই আমার নিশ্চিত অবিশ্বাস কারণ এই প্রতিষ্ঠানের জল হাওয়ায় মানুষ তোমরা যতই নামানার আবেগ উচ্ছল হয়ে থাকুক তোমাদের মধ্যে তোমরা যে মা বিদ্বিষা বহাই বলে গেছ গোচরে অগোচরে ওই যে একদিন অনেকটা না বুঝেই শপথ নিয়েছিলে অগ্নি সাক্ষী রেখে স্বার্থের চেয়ে পরার্থের পথেই জীবন এগিয়ে নিয়ে যাবে তোমরা দিনে রাতে না চাইলেও তোমাদের চোখের সামনে ঘুরে বেরিয়েছেন আট পৌরে প্রায় পড়াশোনা না করা এক সরল মানুষ যার দেহাতি দিশি কথায় লেখা আছে যাবৎ বাঁচি তাবৎ শিখি ভগবান লাভী মানুষের জীবনের উদ্দেশ্য যে সমন্বয় করেছে সেই লোক আরো কত কি তার পাশেই যে চলে ফিরে বেড়াতেন তোমাদেরই জন্যে এক নারী মূর্তি এই মা হারানো শান্তি খোঁজা জগতের আশ্রয় করুণা ঘন সকলের মা আমাদের মা তাদেরই আদেশে তোমাদের জন্য চোখ ভুলানো তেজস্বী এক আবির্ভাব নৃত্য ছিলেন তোমাদেরই সঙ্গে যার বজ্রকণ্ঠ বারে বারে বলেছে তোমাদের সত্যের জন্য সব কিছু ত্যাগ করা যায় কোনো কিছুর জন্য সত্যকে ত্যাগ করা যায় না ত্যাগ সেবাই আমাদের জাতীয় আদর্শ উত্তিষ্ঠত জাগ্রত প্রাপ্য বরান নিব ধাতা এই তপবনের স্নিগ্ধ প্রভাতে তোমরাই ছিলে আমাদের দেবতা এর উজ্জ্বল সন্ধ্যায় তোমরাই আমাদের আরাধনার কেন্দ্রিত মূর্তি 
आज से तुम्हें मुक्तर दिन तर बार्ता घोषित हो समर्तने आज थे अनेक अनेक दिन पर ऋद्ध वहित मध्याने निश्चय अलिंदगुल मन पड़े तुम्हारे शर मने बुद्धि फिर एस एखने तक अथवा जख तक तुम्हारे से भावी कल चलत अस्तित्व देखे प्रतिष्ठान बुझते पर आजकल समावर्तन सफल हल कि ना पीछन घुरे तक से हिसाब कर महाविश्वे शिक्षा प्रतिष्ठान पायर नूपुरध्वनि तुम्हारे मंगल अभ्यर्थना लाभ होना से दिन हम कौन थकब जानी ना कि तुम्हरा थक महत प्रतिष्ठान आदर्श आयनाटी थक मिलिए देखे नियो जगत आनंद यज्ञ निमंत्रण पवार उपयुक्त सजसज्जा तुम्हारे प्रस्तुत रे ना आज शुद्ध पवित्र सुंदर मुहूर्ते सतर्क कर प्रार्थना कर प्रतिष्ठान और आदर्शर सुगंध थे तुम्हारे जीवन वंचित ना तुमार कर्मिष्ट प्राते तुमार निद्रित राते अपर जीवन शून कि आनंद गान बजे को दुख सुर राजे तब सार्थक ए जीवन जिन आधारे ध्रुव तारा रत शेषे सुख तारा पवित्रता मूर्त कर रेख आजे महेंद्र क्षणे बोले मने मने सुपथे सुचेतना थे नमस्कार थैंक यू महाराज फर योर मेसमेराइजिंग एंड स्मेल बैंडिंग वर्ड्स योर मोटीभेशन उल लीड और ग्रेजुएटिंग स्टूडेंट्स टू ग्रेटर हाइट्स इन देयर लाइफ आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट स्वामी एकुचित्तानंद जी महाराज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ आवर कॉलेज टू रीड आउट द प्रिंसिपल्स रिपोर्ट ओम नमो भगवते रामकृष्णाय माई रेस्पेक्टफुल प्रणाम टू रिवियर सेक्रेटरी महाराज टू रेस्पेक्टेड प्रोफेसर रंजन सें to respected dr koushik bol to all the members of the faculty of our college to all the members of the non teaching staff all the alumni assembled over here and my love and good wishes to my beloved graduating students let me begin with reading out one quote from swami ji which essentially underlines the educational ethos that our college tries to translate into action education is the manifestation of the perfection already in man we want that education by which character is formed strength of mind is increased and one can stand on one's own legs to actualize the integral vision of learning seamlessly combining the elements of the gurukul tradition of india and the scientific temper of the west in a tapopana ideal a hark back to the forest universities of ancient india history of the college at a glance started in 1960 affiliated to the university of calcutta as an honors ug college hs section started in 1976 later relocated to vidyalaya in 2007 pg section operational since 2005 vivekananda center for research established in 2014 the year marking the 150th birth anniversary of swami ji autonomy conferred by the ugc in 2008 which was renewed in 2015 accredited by nec in 2004 with grade a with institutional institutional score 87 out of 100 re accredited by nac in 2012 with grade a wb dst fist award was conferred in 2015 nirf ranks the college had 15 in 2019 20 in 2020 21 2021 19 in 2022 and 19 again in 2023 the college is recognized as a zero by dst government of india Conferred DST Fees Award in 2017, declared a college with potential for excellence by UGC in 2016. Autonomy was renewed in 2015. Received the Rusa Grant in 2014-15. Edu Excellence Best College Award 
I was received by <coughs> the college in 2017, re-accredited by NAC in third cycle with grade A plus and CGPA 3.46 in 2021. Let me now read out the awards and recognitions received in 2022-23. The academic autonomy of the college has been extended by the UGC till 2029-30. The college has been ranked 19th in the college category by the NIRF, <coughs> declared by the Ministry of Human Resources Development, Government of India. Three teachers of our college, Professor Prashant Ghosh, Professor Maloy Purkait, and Professor Pranam Kumar Sharkar have received the Bangushri Award from the Government of West Bengal. Dr. Partha Sharathi Chakravarti, the head of the Department of Statistics, was felicitated in 2023-29 June, the 17th Statistics Day by the Government of India, Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Dr. Shekhar Rai, Department of Bengali, received Dr. Sharbapalli Radhakrishnan Teaching Excellence Award from International Benevolent Research Foundation on 26 September. Professor Oshim Mondal has been awarded and felicitated as an educationist and author by Bidhan Shishu Uddan Otullo Ghosh Memorial Trust in April 2023. Professor Pranam Kumar Sharkar, head of the Department of Bengali, received Bonani Shahito Shamman. <clears throat> Dr. Indrajit Shah has been selected for Science Academic Summer Research Fellowship Program for Students and Teachers 2023, jointly awarded by the Indian Academy of Sciences, the Indian National Science Academy, and the National Academy of Sciences, India. Dr. Pranam Kumar Mondal, Department of English, has received Asian Graduate Students Fellowship from the Asian Research Institute of the National University of Singapore in May 2023. He has also been selected as a research fellow at the Art System Governments Project of, of Utrecht University, the Netherlands, in uh, January 2023. Sri Ashok Kumar Patro, a senior research fellow in Vivekananda Center for Research, working under the supervision of Dr. Indrajit Shaha, has won the Best Poster Award presented by the American Chemical Society in a National Conference on Emerging Dimensions in Chemical Sciences organized by the Department of Chemistry, University of Kalyani. Sri Rupanjan Mukhavadhyay, a UG3 uh, statistics on a student, has secured All India Rank 1 in Mathematical Statistics in IIT Jam 2023. <laughs> the college football team stood runners-up in the district South uh, 24 Paraganas District Level Inter-College uh, Football Championship 2023 hosted by the Maheshtala College on February 11 and 12, 2023. In the District Level Inter-College Athletic Championship, Sriman Chirantan Sharkar UG2 won the second position in discus throw and shot part events. The NCC cadets of our college participated in the Inter-College event KEL organized by the St. Xavier's College and among them Sriman Rishabh Ghosh won the runners-up title in badminton and Sriman Nobukumar Murmu secured the third position in 200-meter uh, run. A group of 15 students represented the college in the district-level youth parliament competition 2022 hosted by our college on 21st September 2022 and was placed second. Among them, Sriman Sarnadip Malaka, the UG2 student, was judged the best secretary in the division-level YPC 2022. A team of UG physics honor students won the first position in the poster presentation competition on global science and global well-being organized by the SN Bosch National Center for Basic Science, Kolkata. Sriman Navarun Sharkar and Sriman Arif Ali, both from UG3 Mathematics Honors, won the first prize in Mathematic and Inter-College Mathematics Quiz Competition on 22nd December 2022, jointly organized by the Department of Mathematics of Bijayagar Jyoti Shrai College. Kolkata and Netaji Nagar Day College, Kolkata, in commemoration of the 135th birth anniversary of Srinivasa Ramanujan. The following students of the Department of Sanskrit were awarded in the state level inter college Sanskrit elocution competition held at Kaliya Chak Bikram Kishore Adarsho Sanskrit Mahavidyalaya, organized by the Central Sanskrit University. Sriman Shiva Prashad Sharkar, second in Ashtadhai counterpart, Sriman Shankar Goswami, third in Amar Kosh counterpart, and Sriman uh, Pritam Paik and Sriman Umeshwar, the joint third in Kabbo counterpart. Sriman Soham Haldar and Sriman Soham Das, UG3 English Honours, presented a paper at St. Xavier's College, which was judged the best. Sriman Soham Haldar and Sriman Shamantak Bhattacharjo secured the third position in the quiz competition on OTT at the IEM. Sriman Augusto Chakravarti and Sriman Soham Das, UG2 English Honours, secured the third position in the quiz competition held at RBU on modernism. Sriman Uritra Gupta, Sriman Onik Mondol and Sriman Debobam Ghosh, all from UG2, secured the third position in Swami Tejasanandu Memorial Quiz Competition organized jointly by the Ramakrishna Mission Vidya Mandir and Vidya Mandir Alumni Association. College profile, we have got 12 honors programs. 
बी ए कोर्स बी एस सी कोर्सेज इन केमिस्ट्री कंप्यूटर साइंस इकोनॉमिक्स मैथामेटिक्स फिजिक्स एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स बी ए इन बंगाली इंग्लिश हिस्ट्री फिलासफी पॉल साइंस संस्कृत एंड अब हैव गॉट फिफ्टीन जनरल कोर्सेज अब गॉट पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट प्रोग्राम्स इन केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स कंप्यूटर साइंस इंग्लिश एंड संस्कृत रिसर्च प्रोग्राम्स वी हैव गॉट इन केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस सर्टिफिकेट कोर्सेज आर देयर इन सिंथेस ऑफ फोर योग एंड स्वामी विवेकानंद द भगवद गीता इन स्टूडेंट लाइफ साइंस वर्शिप एड एन कोर्सेज वैल्यूएड कोर्सेज आर देयर इन कम्युनिकेटिव इंग्लिश वैदिक चैंटिंग तबला क्लासिकल भोकल म्यूजिक पाखवाज बंगाली रिसाइटेशन वायोलिन गिटार फ्लूट फिल्म एप्रिसिएशन फिल्मोग्राफी स्पोकन जर्मन एंड पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग स्टूडेंट प्रोफाइल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू यू जी सेकेंड ईयर वन सिक्सटी थ्री यू जी थर्ड ईयर वन एटी एट पी जी फर्स्ट ईयर फोर्टी नाइन पी जी सेकेंड ईयर फिफ्टी सेवन टोटल नंबर वन रजिस्टर्ड पी एच जी स्कॉलर्स ट्वेंटी एट फैकल्टी प्रोफाइल सिनाप्स ऑफ दी फैकल्टी प्रोफाइल नंबर फुल टाइम फैकल्टी मेम्बर्स फिफ्टी थ्री सैक टीचर्स नाइन टेम्पररी एंड गेस्ट फैकल्टी फोर्टी मैनेजमेंट अपॉइंट एंड चेयर प्रोफेसर नाइन नंबर ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव स्टाफ थर्टी सेवन परमानेंट एंड मैनेजमेंट अपॉइंट एंड स्टाफ थर्टी Changes in administration and in monastic team. Swami Sarvalokananda Ji Maharaj, the erstwhile secretary of the ashram as well as the college, has left Narendra Pur to take charge of Brahma Krishna Mission Ashram in New Delhi. As the secretary of the center, he has been succeeded by Swami Shastra Gananda Ji Maharaj. Vikash Maharaj, Brahmachari, Shruti Jai Tanno later christened as Swami Punneshwar Ananda, who served the college from March 2020 to March 2023 in different capacities including the position of the vice principal since October 2020 has been transferred to Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda Education and Research Institute or KMB Belurmat for shouldering greater responsibilities Brahmachari Kedar Jitendra Shamol Maharaj has taken charge as the vice principal of the college Swami Madhaveshan Anand Ji Manomoy Maharaj has been transferred to Vidyalaya Swami Shivadhishan Anand Ji Maharaj and Brahmachari Akhund Jitendra Vishwajit Maharaj have joined the college family subsequently Dr. Partho Sharathi Chakraborty has assumed the office of the head of the department of statistics with effect from February 1 2023 Retirements Professor Shatyakripal Associate Professor Department of English and Dr. Dilip Kumar Shahu Associate Professor Department of Stat Uh, statistics have retired on January 31 2023 Sri Shama Prasad Chakraborty lab assistant department of computer science retired from the service in January 2023 the college family expresses its sincere gratitude to professor Pal professor Ghosh and Sri Chakraborty and records their long and devoted service with admiration we all pray to god for their happy peaceful and healthy retired life academic activities of the college the 12th batch of the students have Uh, performed brilliantly in various national level competitions uh, jam chemistry there has been uh, ranks 11 53 88 among, uh, among the top 100 in mathematics 20 and 40 uh, statistics statistics quite a few 131 45 76 97 mathfr chemistry 1 isi statistics 5 mathematics 2 iips 1 isar 5 jnu 1 jadavpur university 19 arkm very 6 and just as many as 6 students have qualified from the department of physics overall pr progression of ug uh, various departments can be found in the college report at uh, pg level one student has cracked net set five have got a uh, gate and two ug students and 14 pg students have got placed in various companies seminars conferences workshops and colloquia departmental level we have got 24 seminars over the year institutional level 46 indian culture 2 memorial and endowment lectures 3 students colloquium 3 researchers colloquium 3 alumni speak 2 student fest comprising inter college contests and quiz paper, paper presentation etc as well as seminar lectures delivered by eminent experts were conducted by the departments of computer science chemistry physics statistics mathematics and economics i need not read out the details right now publications uh, research projects by faculty members ongoing four completed two publications chemistry 16 research papers have been published over the year and two invited lectures computer science three publications and two invited lectures english two publications three books chapters and 15 invited lectures physics four uh, publications and three invited lectures mathematics one uh, publication four uh, book chapters and 15 invited lectures courses run by the placement cell coaching on net paper 1 approximate number of students attending the course 
UPSC PCS study circle with the aim of providing essential guidance to the aspiring students of the college has to foster their dream of cracking the civil services examination. The UPSC PCS study circle was started on 16 June 2023. MOUs, the college has signed MOUs this year with ISI Kolkata, the Rotary Club of Baliganj, Khudirambur Central College, Shurendranath Law College and Rai Dikhi College and Gaur Mohan Shochin Mondol Mohabit Dala Madhupur South 24 Paragonas during the current year. 11th convocation was held on <coughs> 23rd December 2022, exactly one year back. Uh, Dr. Devashish Vishash, Inspector of Colleges, University of Kolkata, presided over the occasion and conferred the degrees. And Professor Gautam Desira, Jew Emeritus Professor IAC Bangalore, delivered the convocation address. Service activities, in a nutshell, the IQVC organized value education course to the students of Surendranath Law College, Kolkata, during April 3 to 12. The departments of chemistry, computer science, economics, history, mathematics, physics, and statistics hosted student fests. Activities of the NSS wing of the college, blood donation camp on 23-11-2022, spoken English classes for the hostel, non-teaching staff arranged during October 2022 to January 2023. The total number of beneficiaries being 15. Medical camps at Najat Boshirhat was held regularly once in a month. A t-shirt distribution program for the local auto rickshaw drivers was held on 24th March 2023, free coaching classes for pri primary school students at Arapaat Shonalpur, held uh, during March 23 to 30, an eye checkup camp organized in collaboration with the Rotary Club of Baliganj uh, uh, on 20th April 2023, a tree plantation drive was taken on 26 February to 2nd March. Activities of the NCC wing, total number of enrolled cadets 53, cadets attended a number of camps, 12 cadets appeared for the C certificate examination and all of them got qualified. 10 cadets appeared for the B certificate exam and all cleared the same. Cadets participated in the college events such as Independence Day, Republic Day, National Youth Day, etc. They took part in the KEL, an inter-college university sports competition organized by the St. Xavier's College and came out with the flying colors. Cultural activities, intra-college intra competitions were Conducted in offline mode all through the year in the following events music, extempore speech, recitation, tabla lahora, debate, painting, story writing, uh, quiz, etc. Inter college painting and elocution competitions were hosted in collaboration with Mohabit Dalai Praktani. Approximately 70 students of the neighboring colleges took part in the event. Annual Inter Bhavan, Wall Magazine, and Drama competitions were held. A number of cultural festivals have been conducted through the, uh, throughout the year. Sports and games, the following competitions were organized this year. Inter-department cricket competition, inter-bhavan volleyball tournament, inter-departmental football tournament, badminton com com competition, swimming, annual athletic meet. The college took part in district-level inter-college university football tournament and secured the runners-up position as mentioned earlier. Scholarship and stipend, number of students receiving DST inspired scholarship 100, number of students receiving Swami Vivekananda Valid Cummins SBM CM scholarship from government to West Bengal 270, Number of students receiving OSS scholarship 47, OECOC scholarship 12, NSP 9, GP Builder scholarship 4. Uh, number of students granted scholarship from the college 205. Total number of scholarships uh, disbursed by the college during the year uh, 27.54 lakhs approximately. Infrastructural upgradation during the year, renovation of Sri Gaurangabhavana has been completed. Total expenses being 1.25 crore approximately. Setting up a poly house in the hostel campus for nurturing of plants. Procurement of 21 desk computers, 4 laptops, 7 printers, 21 UPS and 8 projectors for enhancement of physics and computer science departmental computer labs. Library, the hours is RFID enabled open access library, 12 departmental libraries are there, total number of books 56,192, new books added this year 1737, total number of periodical subscribed and purchase 95, the library has 42 ebooks and uh, it subscribes to endless e-resources. The e-library reading room is equipped with 53 all-in-one PCs. The whole library is under CCTV surveillance. Funding. Donations have been received from alumni, well-wishers, and devotees for renovation of Sri Goranga Bhavana, amounting rupees 70 lakhs approximately. Grant for enhancement of computer labs, Department of Higher Education, Government of West Bengal, rupees 30 lakhs approximately. Grant for NSS Republic de Parade, received from Department of Higher Education, uh, 16 lakhs, 11,111. Our challenges, the following the directive of the Department of Higher Education, Government of West Bengal, the college has introduced a four-year UG program from 2023-24. However, the pro proper implementation of the same, we need to build up necessary infrastructure, including the following. Creation of new classrooms, including a few smart classrooms, 
upgradation of laboratories for practicum based departments, procurement of computers and other electronic devices for introduction of courses on AI, enhancement of the central and departmental libraries, building up of a new hostel or additional floors in the existing hostels for substantial increase in the intake capacity. To address the issue, the college has applied to the government of West Bengal for funding and is going to approach a number of non-governmental agencies very soon. The process of renovation of Sri Gauranga Bhavan has been completed uh, on uh, October 2022. However, due to lack of funding from governmental as well as non-governmental agencies, the college had to depend on the generous contribution of our alumni, devotees and well-wishers. In spite of that, the college met a heavy deficit which we are yet to recover fully. Discontinuation of the autonomy grant from the UGC is another point of concern to all of us. A few lab-based departments require funding for upgradation of laboratories immediately. Due to prolonged alienation from the college due to the pandemic, a section of the student community is suffering from mental agony and depression. Some others apparently lack motivation in pursuit of knowledge. These psychological issues need to be addressed. To meet the demand from the academic experts visiting the colleges in the recent past, we intend to start a UG honors program in a suitable biological science stream which again demands mobilization of sufficient resources. A large number of students of the college hail from the social and economically marginalized section of the society. Providing financial assistance to them is again a serious task. Our future plan, the college will, as of now, put emphasis on creation of resources and adequate upgradation of infrastructure for a smooth running of the four-year UG program. We are willing to start PhD program in Sanskrit from the next session. Effort will be on to set up a suitable UG honors program in a suitable biological science stream. The plausibility of starting a few courses in distant learning mode will be explored. To promote Indian cultural heritage among the youngsters of this college, the college would like to introduce a few certificate courses in the near future. We are trying to set up modes and linkages with higher education in series of eminence at the national and international level. Giving honor to the demand of the society, we will try to share our experience and expertise with our colleges in the neighborhood. A half-day webinar, or rather seminar, on the NAC accreditation process conducted last year has been directed towards fulfillment of that commitment. Our gratitude. We are grateful to the Department of Higher Education, Government of West Bengal for their continued financial support for the overall management of the institution. Our sincere thanks to all the donors, ex-students, well-wishers, alumni association of the college, the sister institutes of our ashrama, Ramakrishna Mission, Belurmat, RMIC, Gold Park, Jindal Trust, Bibikanda Saudi and Philanthropic USA, Bhutodia Memorial Trust and others for their generous contribution to our scholarship of the poor and meritorious students and other developmental schemes. Our sincere thanks to the authority of the University of Calcutta for their academic and administrative support. We are thankful to all the members of the governing body, the academic council, the finance committee, the boards of studies and of all the departments for the, their proactive role they have played in the growth of the college along academic and administrative dimensions. Our sincere thanks to other honorary teachers and non-teaching staff members who are attending service with utmost devotion and sincerity. Let me record my sincere gratitude to all the members of the college family, the monastic team led by revered Secretary Maharaj, Vice Principal Maharaj, the controller, the joint controller, as well as the monastic coordinator in the examination cell, all the hostel superintendents and other departmental in charges, teaching staff, Professor Rothindranath Ghosh, IUQC coordinator, Professor Shubhadi Bandabadhai Barsar, Professor Debabroto Dash, Secretary TC, Sri Arunam Shahagundu and Sri Shukchad Hajra, librarians along with all their assistants and Sri Sriti Mai Bandhavadha, head clerk and all other non-teaching staff members and hostel staff members for their constant support in maintaining the quality of this institution. In particular, I am thankful to all the monastics, teachers and student volunteers who have worked hard for the successful completion of the convocation. Finally, let me convey thanks and gratitude to Professor Ranjan Shen, Director, ISES Kolkata, who has been in our midst today and who has kindly agreed to deliver the convocation address. We are grateful to respected Dr. Koushik Bal, Development and Planning Officer, University of Calcutta, for his August presence following a short notice invitation. My sincere thanks and respect to guests and guardians, donors and well-wishers present in the auditorium. My best wishes to the beloved graduating students who will be receiving their degrees today, as well as to the students of the running badges. Final words. Revere Srimad Swami Lokeshwaranandaji Maharaj, the Founder Secretary of the College, envisioned of the total upbringing of the students. In particular, he laid much stress on upliftment of the marginalized section of the society. Thanks to the enormous effort put up by each and every unit of the family over decades, the College has been striving hard towards fulfillment of the dream of the visionary. We are very happy to note that a number of our students have come out with the flying colors in the last year, as well as around two-thirds of our UG and PG students received financial assistance from various quarters. 
However, attainment to perfection is a continuous process having no points of pause or full stop. So let there be no room for complacency for us. At the same time, the residential college cannot confine its attention towards the Abhyudaya aspect of life alone, be it at the individual or at the collective level. The twofold ideals of Tiaga and Seba as envisaged by Swamiji has been meditated upon, conceived and actualized in the lives of innumerable sadhakas, both monastics and the householders of the RKMRC. And this has been reflected in the service activities undertaken jointly by the students, teachers, alumni and members of non-teaching staff in the recent past. Let our efforts for attainment of academic excellence be supplemented by nurturing of the concept of manhood, culminating in service to God, the miserable, and building up fit instruments of Swamiji. With the blessings of the Holy Trio, may we gather strength for regulating our individual lives, channelizing our thought currents, and evolving novel mechanisms for execution of our bhav and renunciation and service. My heartiest congratulations to all our beloved graduating students, our prayers, for the total upbringing and equally proportionate growth of the head, heart, and hand as dreamt of by Swamiji. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ram Krishna Arpanamastu. Now is the time for the much awaited convocation address, which will be delivered by the guest in chief of today's program, Professor Anjan Shen. Professor Shane is presently the director of Indian Association for Cultivation of Sciences. We are particularly glad to have him amidst us today, especially because uh, he is a distinguished alumnus of the Ramakrishna Mission Institutions in Purulia and Belur. I request Professor Shane to deliver the convocation address. Good afternoon. So, uh, being a practicing scientist, my uh, speech will be very prosaic, unlike Secretary Moraj's very, very poetic speech. So please bear with me. It will have a lot of information that, that I can guarantee, but there will be no poetry. So good afternoon. So it's an honor to deliver a speech at this convocation that of this college that we are all very proud of it. Because I am also a Ramakrishna Mission alumni, which is an institution that students of the last three, four generations mm. wanted to be admitted. And matter of fact, I, I came here in 1983 uh, to get admitted in class 11, but unfortunately I didn't get, but I got into Belur Vidya Mandir. So at least my dream came true that I could be able to come once again. Many thanks to Secretary Maharaj and Principal Maharaj for giving me the opportunity to visit this temple of education and all the other dignitaries and my dear students. So uh, the speech that I, I thought uh, will have three, uh, three parts. At the beginning I will talk about a little bit of history about the uh, practice of education and, uh, in India mostly. And then I'll little bit touch upon the uh, major aspects of NEP 2020, which is very relevant, I think, uh, most of the students and for the teachers. And that toward the end, I will talk, which uh, I think Principal Mohanath personally requested me to talk about the career prospects of the students, which uh, probably is very important. And as a, as a director of a uh, research institute, I will have my perspective so many of the views that I will be telling it is purely personal. So let me start with what is education? The dictionary definition of education is the process of acquiring or imparting knowledge and skills. But it, is, it has a much more deeper meaning. To understand that, I would like to invoke Swami Vivekananda's beliefs and philosophy on education which are all still relevant and integral to the present day. As Principal Maharaj has already quoted the famous uh, line for, from him, education is the manifestation of the perfectly, perfection already in man, which actually says everything. You don't need any more definition. It's the most complete definition of, of education. According to Swamiji, it is essential to educate and raise the masses to build a nation. It's a very important uh, component for nation building. Education should reach everyone to bring about equality and prosperity. 
A true education provides character building, enriches mental strength, expands the intellect, and inculcates self-belief. The self-belief, this is the most important thing, that, that makes the difference between an educated and not so educated person. How were our education systems in the ancient era, or the medieval or pre-colonial and British era? I, I think most of you have some idea, I just want to uh, brush those, uh, those memories. Education is engraved in our culture from the dawn of Indian civilization. Swadeshi Pujyate Raja Viddan Sarvatra Pujyate. So it was the widely quoted verse illustrates the significance of education in India. Now in modern days, highly educated and skillful person can become a global citizen, which, which is actually equivalent to the Viddan Sarvatra Pujyate. So it was told already 2000 years back. The high quality building structures and different artifacts of obtained from the archaeological sites of Indus Valley civilization are evidence of its urbanization and engineering knowledge. This indicates they were very highly educated and skilled people. Education in those days must be imported through family traditions as no scriptures were discovered so far. Maybe we will get some uh, scriptures in future, but not yet. The formal well-documented education system that evolved first in ancient India, mostly in the northern part of India is known as the Vedic system of education. From the time of Rig Veda onwards, our ancient education system evolved over the period and focused on the holistic development of the individuals by taking care of both the inner and the outer self. Teaching and learning followed the tenets of Vedas and Upanishads, fulfilling duties towards self, family and society, thus encompassing all aspects of life. Education in ancient India was free from external control like that of state and government. It was the king's duty to see that the learned pandits pursued their stu studies and performed the duty of imparting knowledge without interference from any sources. In the early stages, education and knowledge propagated orally through a Guru Sisya Parampara in the residential Gurukul. Later, these were scripted in I mean, the knowledge was scripted in Sanskrit and Prakrit languages. The golden era of ancient Indian civilization when all the education system, culture, music, dance, etc. flourished until towards the end of the first millennium state, starting from the Maurya era of BC 320. The Gurukuls later become Bihars, which is equivalent to college, and Mahavihars, which is equivalent to university. The famous Mohaviyars were Taksashila, Nalanda, Vikram Sila, Pushpagiri, etc., to name a few that flourished during the propagation of Buddhism. On the other hand, the Dravidian culture in the southern part of India developed independently of the Vedic civilization of North India. However, the concept of holistic education was also practiced there. I mean, it is almost an equivalent type of education. In the southern part of India, Agrahar served us centers of learning and teaching. South Indian kingdoms also had their cultural institution known as Ghatika and Brahmapuri. The Ghatika was a center of learning including religion and, also, and was small in size. In addition to this, the standard temples, mathas, Jain Basdis, Buddhist Bihars were also existed in the southern part of India. Now the modern day education through colleges and university was established during the British era following the British education system. This is one thing we should be indebted to British uh, rulers that we got the glimpse of the Western education. Srirampur College was the first to be established in 1818, the first college in that sense. Calcutta, Bombay and Madras universities were established in 1857. Indian Association for Cultivation of Science, I mean from where I am coming, was founded in 1876 by Mandral Sarkar and, first, and this was the first Swadeshi research institutions which is the oldest in Asia. So we went on following the British formal education system with incremental changes as per the needs of the different decades. But the major change or major reform uh, came after independence, 
we call it a national in 1920 1920 you know 2020 it was uh, it was announced but the uh, consultations were there for last 6 7 years which is called a uh, NEP 2020 it is actually a really really a big change uh, the way uh, the very rigid indian education system how we used to follow a major reform in our education system was proposed in 2020 as i told which is called in short nep 2020 which is more suitable and adapted to the needs of the modern economy the the i think the most important part of this nep 2020 is making education linked to the economy which is absolutely required I mean, you can gain knowledge, but you have to use this knowledge to develop the economy of your country or the world. So I will discuss the salient features of this new educational policy for higher education. I think the details part, I'm sure uh, all the college teachers and the principal Maharaj, everybody knows, just a very uh, salient feature, mostly for the guardians. Now, so far we are used to be a single stream HEIs, I mean HEI meaning higher education institution, which will be slowly phased out over time and will move towards becoming vibrant multidisciplinary institutions. This is very, very important. A mathematics honors person should also learn Sanskrit. It is something like that. Or parts of vibrant multidisciplinary HEI's clusters to enable the encourage high quality multidisciplinary cross disciplinary teaching research across the fields. I mean this is practiced in West for a long time like there are very much flexibilities there to choosing subjects. I think some sort of flexibility has come but still uh, art science cross disciplinary still is not there or even co commerce. I don't ex and I don't think any college is there where physics honors uh, is opting for economics or I don't know accountancy. But probably that's, that is the way to go forward. It has to be imaginative, flexible curriculum structures will enable creative combinations of disciplines for study and, and would offer multiple entry and exit points. So you make it very flexible, a sort of a choice base. Like you can enter at multiple point and exit at multiple point depending on your need and ambition. Departments in languages, literature, music, philosophy, indology, art, dance, theater, education, mathematics, statistics, pure and applied sciences, sociology, economics, sports, translation, and interpretation, all such subjects need for multidisciplinary and stimulating Indian education and environment will be established and strengthened at the HEIs. In one place, all these things has to be there. As a part of holistic education, students at all the HEIs will provide with opportunities for internships with the local industries, businesses, artists, craftspersons, etc., as well as research internships with faculty and researchers at their own or either HEI research institutions. So that studies may actively engage with the practical side of their learning, which actually means to linking it to the economy. And as a byproduct, further improve their employability, which is very, very, very important. I mean, people are getting degrees, but they are just waiting for the not getting job, which this can be, you have to link it. The structure and length of the degree program shall be adjusted accordingly. The undergraduate degree will be either three or four year duration with multiple exit options within the period with appropriate certificates, for example, a certificate after completing one year in a discipline or a field, including vocational and professional areas, or a diploma after two years of study, or a bachelor's degree after three years program. The four-year multidisciplinary bachelor's program, however, shall be the preferred option since it allows the opportunity to experience the full range of holistic and multidisciplinary education in addition to a focus on a chosen major or minor as it was the practice so far. An academic bank of credit or academic credit bank shall be established to digitally score the academic credits earned from various recognized places so that the degrees from an HEI can be awarded taking into account of all these credits. I, I, this is a very revolutionary idea for the students. The four-year program may also lead to a degree with research. If the students completes a rigorous research project in the major areas of study as specified by the HEIs or the research institution. The HEIs will have the flexibility to offer different 
different designs of master program or master's degree. There may be a two year program with a second year devoted entirely to research for those who have completed the three year bachelor's program. The students completing a four year bachelor's program with research, there could be a one year master's program and there may be an integrated five year bachelor's master's program. Undertaking a PhD shall require either a master's degree or four years bachelor's degree with research. So as you can see, those who are especially in BSc or BA, I mean, uh, starting, so you will have a lot of choices. So as you know that if you have too many choices, uh, you, it's also quite difficult that you have to have a very, very correct choices you have to make. Now we will come to the uh, career part of it, of the, our students. So what we call the future career prospects and avenues for this generation of students. So let me start with something that uh, your previous generations or generations like us never faced, which is called artificial intelligence or AI. So AI is going to shape our lives and livelihood on the coming days. And my dear students, you have to take up the challenge to face AI. I say it is a challenge because you have to control it, use it for your benefit, otherwise AI will take over. But you have to live with it, it is coming, it is there. So all your future life career will be AI controlled and AI driven. So you have to shape your life and career that way. It is expected all the routine jobs will be AI driven or AI will more or less will take those jobs and will be performed by robots. I am sure you have seen all this. It is not anymore a science fiction movie. You can easily see in Japanese restaurants robots are serving. There are no better jobs left. Which is going to pose a serious challenge for a highly populated country like ours where our labor force is predominantly unskilled. So as an educated person, it will be one of your duty to really train this unskilled labor. We are huge population. It should be our advantage. It should not be a problem. However, human intelligence or what I call a emotional intelligence or EI as opposed to AI will remain essential. And we believe that that will conquer AI in that sense and we can use AI in our benefit. You have to acquire skill sets that will remain useful for at least next 30 to 40 years. It is important that you cannot have very obsolete skill skills which, is, which cannot survive next 30 to 40 years. You have to choose those very carefully. Skill sets should be interdisciplinary. Knowledge of science and humanities should be equally there. So both skills are required for the survival, at least for your generation to survive in the next 30 to 40 years. So what I decided that I will mostly will talk about the career options other than teaching and academics, which probably most of us know and it is pretty much standard. Uh, like you can be a teacher, uh, there is a very definitive career path and you can also do a research, PhD, etc., which we know, it's and which is very fail safe. But with the skill sets that you will be having uh, with a graduation or a master's, you can take very alternative way of thinking. Everybody doesn't have to do PhD or go for a teaching job. For example, let me start with the humanities. And I believe humanities is more versatile than a science career. So don't feel bad who are taking humanities course and all those things. It is I feel. Being a scientist, I, I am I'm myself saying that I should have done more humanities uh, when I was learning science. The skill set in humanities allow you to take over creative careers. So our, as a scientist, our career limits are very, you know, very narrow. We have a very definite set of things that we study, etc. But humanities is a, some sort of a blue sky. I mean, you can. It depends on your creativity or emotional uh, level and all those things. So I'm trying to uh, sort of give a hint, like what are the things, humanities meaning I'm talking about any humanity. I'm not uh, specifying particular subject. So you can be, have editorial jobs or a journalist. Multimedia specialist, most of you are already, I mean, you make reels, etc. 
digital marketing strategist archivists archivists meaning uh, those who maintain the archive that's a very important psychologist and counselor so you know that this is the job is going to be huge demand we are going to lead our you know the lifestyle is leading to as a serious mental health disaster path so you will be needing that a counselor data linguist lawyer international relations foreign language expert another thing is hospitality profession some of you should think of that hospitality administration and profession i'm not talking about doctor and uh, other things other than that because hospitals are going to be the only lifeline for us i mean it is going to expand so hospital administration is a serious job it's a corporate you can if you have gone to any multi specialty hospital it is runs like a corporate it's like a factory basically so you need a very strong administration there you have social worker historian art directors those who love movie this that i mean art direction graphics designer event manager event manager how many people will be interested event manager is very interesting i think so any event you need it's all big events any event you need a manager and a lot of creativity is required there and our own civil surgeons obviously those who love UPSC you can go for a civil servant jobs human resource specialist public relations managers archaeologists requires lot of humanitarian uh, linguistic skill especially sanskrit let me come to economics because uh, even if i never learned economics but uh, in a, as a person you always love to save money invest money so you have to learn economics so economics i actually love very much so together with the skill set in computation and data analysis any person with economic knowledge in my opinion is should rule the financial world so the deadly combination is you have a very sound knowledge in economics together with a data scientist or computation so this is a deadly combination i believe the major career choices are you can become economist business consultant financial advisor share market advisor bankers and all are now computerized now you don't have to go to the share market and do anything you can do it from your home management consultant and policy makers the first last thing is a policy maker uh, those who want to go to the very, very higher ups in government economics are of the the you know the most demanding thing so you you de you design the financial thing the you know the budget is going to be there in next within a month is done by a finance guy economist i'll now specially emphasize on careers for sanskrit so actually when i was checking uh, uh, this college's website i found the sanskrit is there and uh, we all like as a science student and you know we thought the sanskrit is dead uh, but it is not so i believe that so thank you and it is my personal opinion those who not only those who are learning sanskrit but those who have uh, you know some interest in sanskrit so as you as you all understand that to extend and propagate the vedic education for philosophy rkm rsc is offering courses in sanskrit and assume that there is still some interest in the society so that the college is uh, still offering uh, the reason i'm i emphasize this part is that that what i also found in this college's website the together with the sanskrit major many science subjects are offered i don't know who, who anybody is taking or not uh, as elective subject but if somebody has the courage to take please take it if you have a sanskrit major try to have a mathematics not may not be mathematics but try to have a computational science at least to learn so it can be a very interesting skill set so mm, so what the reason what i'm saying with the rekindling of the nationalistic spirit in our country the students will knowledge of sanskrit will be a great asset and great demand so so suddenly there is a which is absolutely required that we are not looking to west or looking anywhere else we are looking inside that our country can do so we need this uh, very you know enrich our knowledge deciphering our ancient literature to understand so the 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 the, the career options that what i thought about for sanskrit is so deciphering our ancient literature to understand our ancient society and culture 
deciphering the documents of ayurveda cryptology the knowledge of sanskrit is essential i believe knowledge of sanskrit will become an asset in ai ml algorithm development library science medicinal chemistry those who are interested to get into biological research i think sanskrit we have ayurveda it's many of the things are not able to deciphered so we are losing lot of uh, knowledge as i give you an example of a uh, uh, two two three years back there was a nobel prize from china which a medicine from our malarial medicine which actually came from chinese ancient knowledge artemis in so which is a chinese uh, medicine so we have still those scope but we need to decipher those old texts now finally i'm coming to the uh, science graduates and because it's pretty straight forward most of we we know it a little bit talk in a more global sense why uh, more and more still the science education becoming more and more important to attain the sustainable goals or sdg which is which it call it is has been defined by united nation of the government of india the contribution of science students will become very immense in the coming days so there are four aspects where science students will be contributing the first one is food safety but there is a requirement of 21st century agricultural revolution because of agricultural lands are going to reduce day by day because of the urbanization so you will be needing very small you will having a very small land but you have to produce a lot and to feed the whole country for that for this we will be needing plant molecular biologists agricultural engineers data scientists the next one is energy so this is a global requirement energy alternative source of energy the energy research new material for harvesting energy unnatural you know non non traditional energy so the sustainable energy source like solar hydrogen and wind energy this has to be this is the direction where the whole world is moving india is also not far behind we are slowly discarding fossil fuel as you can see the more and more green template cars are coming so these are all ev i i believe there will be no petrol cars in next 5 years we'll all get into evs so ev meaning what you need battery how do you make battery so battery is based on lithium and lithium is very very scarce so you need alternative electrodes those who have basic chemistry and physics knowledge you have to make electrodes and for that you need new material so energy is related to the new material research new types of material a company like so we were visiting last month the company like tata steel tata steel what tata steel produces steel right but they have an r&d with which that doesn't research on steel that research on alternative material how they can use the steel plant waste into a new material so the big companies are getting into it to make new materials and the reason is energy new energy or reduction of and the second the next point that i'm coming is called climate change so it is so related to it where you really need to reduce carbon dioxide carbon footprint how will you reduce you have to use this carbon dioxide you cannot stop a steel plant right still you need steel so you have to use this carbon dioxide you take this carbon dioxide and capture it use it for some other purposes so these are the material new material is required so material research is the material science is becoming very 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 important finally the most important is the health sector we all know that attaining the swast bharat goal the for example we had a covid pandemic the covid pandemic has taught us the need for a good health care system and you can easily see that how india has changed in last 2 years 3 years all of you know what is rt pcr what is vaccine most of you know that how it has become a household name so this is a positive aspect of this pandemic that we could able to know all this basic molecular biology things which will require so we need more and more people to get into a molecular biology vaccine development diagnostics new diagnostics so these are the great career choices what i i felt for the science and the most importantly that uh, you have to choose these fields and keeping the mind that uh, what is going to come not what is the present 
what is going to come in the next five years, ten years. So you have to really mold yourself, keep your ears and eyes open. The graduation that you're going to have, the graduation degree, is mostly an academic degree. You are not yet ready to get into the profession directly. You need to be a little bit more trained because that is the way our education system is. It makes you a little bit more bookish, not really a practical person where you can directly get a, a, a skilled job. You will be needing some more professional and vocational degrees, each of the trades that you want to choose. I'll give you one or two examples. Those who want to take research and academic careers in higher education institutes, you will be needing a PhD. So without PhD, so PhD is basically a professional degree. Your master's is an academic degree. So you have to make a distinction between these two. I, I give example of research. Like say, similarly, those who want to be a teacher, you need a BA degree. Your master's degree is not going to work. So similarly, in each course, those who want to go for a management, after your master's, you need an MBA. You, you know, or those who go for more computer specialization, you have to learn those, or those who want to go to finance. So you need one more, uh, more professional, more vocational. Probably this will problem will be solved once the NEP is totally and you know, fully um, implemented, where all these options are there, that you can get trained in the vocational courses during your uh, masters and you know, or or the BA graduation. And finally. Before I finish, I like to give this words, which is the experience, this part, very personal uh, advice or suggestions from my own experience. Choose a career path very carefully. Please listen to these things. Don't choose an extremely crowded career path or the most trendiest one. This is very important. Don't choose a career path which is highly, highly crowded. Right? Everybody is electronic engineer or something like that. I'm giving an example. Ideally, try to match your passion with your career. I think this is happening now, which was never happened in our time. Our parents will never allow me to become a singer or something like that, dancer. Which is actually, this generation, I'm sure, we parents are much, much liberal. We are allowing. But your responsibility is, or as a teacher, our responsibility is that it, the economic outputs from your from practicing your passion, you have to think of earning. So, you know, earning meaning it may be sound bad, but try to mix economy with your passion. What is the economic output of your passion? So you will love it, you will enjoy it, and also you will earn money. So I think we have to learn that. This is one thing, maybe Americans do much better in India, at the western part, and northern part, people do much better than in, in, in West Bengal. We are much more emotional and more of a uh, loving, but we don't think of the money part. But that means you are contributing to the economy. It is not that your personal money. Once you think of economic output, meaning you are contributing to the country's economy, which is a great national service. In any profession, you will earn money if you have the right skill set, enjoy your studies and your profession, and, and obviously be, try to be a very good citizen. Any profession, you know, the first question when we, if somebody comes for interview for a PhD in my institute, or we always assess in addition to your skill or your knowledge, how good is, is this guy going to be a good citizen? This word is used nowadays very much because we work in a very, you know, together in a very closed atmosphere. So one has to be a good citizen to be a productive. The system will be productive, otherwise not. Good citizen means many things. I'm not getting into the details of it. Now, as you know that India is going to be a trillion dollar economy very soon and country needs you on that growth part, making India the largest economy of our country. So country is depending on you. Please take your career path very carefully and have fun, enjoy your life and my, all my wishes for your future end of years. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for enlightening our students with your wide array of knowledge. Your words will surely motivate our students in their life. Uh, 
Now, before we move on to the presidential address, I would like to read out a message from the Honorable Vice Chancellor of our parent university, Professor Shanta Dattode, who unfortunately could not be here with us today. Uh, I'm reading out her message to you all. It is a great pleasure to share this auspicious day with all of you. It is indeed an enriching experience to, for, for an institution that has been serving the nation by nourishing intellectual and responsible minds over the past five decades since its inception in 1960. The institution has been empowering the students with quality knowledge, skill and ability and inculcates in them the right attitude and spiritual values. Be fearless, tolerant and innovative. Be strong because strength is life and weakness is death. Be a thinking mind, as Swamiji says, we are what our thoughts have made us. So take care about what you think. Words are secondary. Thoughts leave, they travel far. Leave for others. Share your knowledge and discipline with your friends and colleagues. Be good and do good to all. As Kobi Guru says, your head must be held high. Your knowledge must be free. Your words should come out from the depth of truth. You must strive towards perfection. Your clear stream of reason must not lose its way. You must lead your mind towards ever widening thought and action. Let you awake the nation. Only then you can bring glory to the nation and make everyone proud. We look forward to your contributions to the society. May the teachings of Thakur Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Sri Ma Sharada Devi and Swami Vivekananda guide you to success and happiness. I now request the president of this ceremony, Dr. Koshik Ball, Development and Planning Officer, the University of Calcutta, to address the gathering. Namaskar, good afternoon, dignitaries on the dais, Secretary Maharaj, principal of this esteemed residential college, and today's chief guest, current and ex-faculty members of this college present today, distinguished guests, parents, proud parents, students, who are here for their degree, on behalf of University of Calcutta, on behalf of our Honorable Vice Chancellor, and on behalf of me as occupying the chair of the president of this session. I extend my hearty greetings. It is with profound joy and immense pride that I stand before you on this momentous occasion of your graduation. I'm addressing the students in particular right now. This ceremony marks not just the culmination of years of academic rigor, but the dawning of a new chapter in your lives. One brimming with boundless potential and brimming with the promise of impactful contributions to the world. As you wait for the conclusion of this particular ceremony, 
and be awarded with your degrees at the end of your academic achievement let me assure you your success is not a mere solitary triumph it is a testament to the tireless dedication of the distinguished faculty of this college the unwavering support of the staff of this distinguished organization and the unwavering love and encouragement of your families each of these pillars has played a crucial role in shaping you into the well-rounded individuals you are today this college have been a crucible for your intellectual and spiritual growth here you were not merely bombarded with facts and figures you were challenged to think critically to question to delve deeper into the intricacies of knowledge within these walls you have not only mastered the nuances of your chosen fields but also imbibed the ethos of this extraordinary institution you have embraced the spirit of service the unflinching dedication to ethical conduct and the unwavering respect for diversity that form the cornerstone of ramakrishna's teachings and vivekananda's revolutionary outlook but knowledge my dear graduates is not meant to be a solitary possession hoarded in the confines of academia it is a torch meant to illuminate the world a weapon against ignorance a tool to build a better future for all as you step out into the world remember you are not simply graduates of ramakrishna mission residential college you are ambassadors of these timeless values the world beckons you not as bystanders but as active agents of change it faces myriad challenges from climate change and social injustice to economic disparity and technological disruption these are not problems confined to textbooks or dusty journals they are the realities that will shape your lives and the lives of generations to come but there is no reason to despair to despair the knowledge you have acquired the skills you have honed and the values you have internalized at this college equip you to confront these challenges head on be the engineers who bridge the gap between scientific progress and human well-being the artists who inspire hope and bridge divides the educators who illuminate minds and kindle the fire of social responsibility remember the challenges you face are not insurmountable within each of you resides the indomitable spirit of ramakrishna vivekananda and your teachers and parents a spirit that thrives on service unwavering faith in humanity and a relentless pursuit of excellence let that spirit guide you let it fuel your ambitions and let it be the compass that directs you towards a life of purpose and meaningful contribution so go forth with heads held high and hearts brimming with hope 
carry the name of Ramakrishna Mission Residential College with pride and let your actions resonate with the values that define this institution. May your journey be long, may it be impactful, and may your achievements leave an indelible mark on this world. With this, I thank you all and extend my congratulations to the graduating students and their parents, and also the teachers. Thank you all. Thank you, sir, for your motivating speech. Thank you for blessing our students with your erudite words. Uh, now is the time for the official conferment of the degrees. I request Dr. Kaushik Ball, Development and Planning Officer of our parent university, to officially confer the degrees. I also request Revered Principal Maharaj of our college to conduct this part of the program. Now, I shall chant the Convocation Mantras recorded in the Taittiriya Upanishad for the students who will receive today the degrees for which they have been recommended. <coughs> Veda Manucha Chariyavante Vasina Manushasti Satyambada Dharamanchara Swadhyaya Anima Pramadaha Acharyaya Priyandhanamaritya Prajatantum Mabhyabachet Sehi Satyana Pramaditavyam Dharmana Pramaditavyam Kushalana Pramaditavyam Bhutyaina Pramaditavyam Swadhyaya Pravachana Bhyana Pramaditavyam Deva Pitrekarya Bhyana Pramaditavyam Matri Devo Bhava Pitri Devo Bhava Acharya Devo Bhava Atithi Devo Bhava Yanyanavadhyani karmani Tani sevetabhyani No itarani Yanyasmakagung sucharitani Tani tvayopasyani No itarani Ye ke chasma chaya gung so brahmana te shang twaya sanena prashwasitavyam shraddhaya deyam ashraddhaya deyam shriya deyam riya deyam bhiya deyam sambeda deyam Athayadite karma bichikit sava vritta bichikit sava syat Ye tatra brahmana asam marishinah Yukta ayukta aluksha dharma kama syuh Yathate tatra varteran Tatha tatra varte tha Adhabhya akhya teshu Ye tatra brahmana asam marishinah Yukta ayukta aluksha dharma kama syu Yatha te teshu varte ran Tatha te shubharte tha Esha adesha Esha upadesha Esha vedopanishat Etad anushasanam Evam pasitavyam Evam chaitad upasyam Om Shanti 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 Hare Om 
Having instructed in the Veda, the preceptor advises the disciple, speak the truth, follow the prescribed conduct, be not heedless about the studies. At the time of your departure from your preceptor, offer to him the gift liked by him and take care that the line of your race is not broken. Do not fail to pay attention to truth. Never fail to pay heed to the performance of duty. Do not be careless about personal welfare. Do not neglect prosperity. Never be indifferent to study and teaching. There should be no lapse in the duties towards the gods and maids. Let your mother be a goddess unto you. Let your father be a god unto you. Let your teacher be a god unto you. Let your guest be a god unto you. The works that are not blameworthy are to be resorted to, not the others. Those actions of ours that are commendable are to be followed by you, not the others. You should, by offering sit, etc., remove the fatigue of those Brahmanas who are more praiseworthy among us. Gifts must be made gladly and willingly. Never give an unwilling gift. Let gifts be made according to one's fortune, with modesty and fear. Let there be also agreement in opinion or friendly feeling when the gifts are offered. Now, should there arise any uncertainty regarding your acts or doubts in respect of your conduct in life, you behave exactly in the same manner as the Brahmanas who are able to judge impartially, who are experienced, who are not directed by others, who are gentle and intent on the law, and who happen to be present there would act in regard to such matters. And now, with regard to those who are accused for some crime, conduct yourself on the model of those cautious, experienced, independent, gentle brahmanas who are interested in the law and who happen to be present there. This is the injunction, this is the instruction, this is the secret of the Vedas, this is divine behest. All this is to be done thus, and all this must be done thus. Now, the graduating student of PhD program, please listen to me and do as I instruct you. Honorable Development and Planning Officer, sir, I present to you the candidate for the degree of doctorate in philosophy and, and I pray that the degree for which he has been recommended may be conferred on him. The Senate of the University of Calcutta is pleased to confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended and admit you to all the rights and privileges respectively pertaining thereto and I by virtue of the authority vested in me as development and planning officer of this university to which your autonomous college Ramakrishna Mission Residential College Autonomous Narendrapur is affiliated charge you that ever in your life and conversation you show yourself worthy of the same. Please be seated. Now, the graduating students of MA and MSc programs, please listen to me and do as I instruct you. Honorable Development and Planning Officer, sir, I present you the candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts and Science, and I pray that the degrees for which they have been recommended may be conferred on them. With all the candidates who have been presented for master's degrees, please stand up. The Senate of the University of Calcutta is pleased to confer upon you the degrees for which you have been recommended and admit you to all the rights and privileges respectively pertaining thereto. And I, by virtue of the authority vested in me as development and planning officer of this university, to which your autonomous college Ramakrishna Mission Residential College, Narendrapur is affiliated, charge you 
that ever in your life and conversation you show yourselves worthy of the same please be seated the graduating students of b and bsc programs please listen to me and do as i instruct you honorable development and planning officer sir i present to you the candidates for the degrees of bachelor of arts and science and i pray that the degrees for which they have been recommended may be conferred on them will all the candidates who have been presented for bachelor's degrees please stand up the senate of the university of calcutta is pleased to confer upon you the degrees for which you have been recommended and admit you to all the rights and privileges respectively pertaining thereto and i by virtue of the authority vested in me as development and planning officer of this university to which your autonomous college ramakrishna mission residential college narendrapur is affiliated charge you that ever in your life and conversation you show yourselves worthy of the same please be seated it is now time for the exciting moment for which our fresh graduates are eagerly waiting the heads of various departments of our college will now call the names of the graduating students the students are requested to form a queue and collect the certificates students will come up on the dais from my right side that is through the stairs on my front and collect their certificates and exit from the opposite side of the stage following the stairs there and again take their seats you need not remove your footwear while coming onto the stage and collecting the certificates no one should halt midway or stop for any other reason on his way on on off the days the certificates will be first given to the postgraduate students and then the undergraduate students phd yeah. but but before moving to that we will felicitate sri prashanjit maiti who has pursued phd under the research wing of our college named vivekananda center for research he has worked in his phd under the supervision of dr molloy purkait associate professor and head department of physics of our college dr maiti's the title of dr maiti's phd dissertation is theoretical studies of the strongly interacting extended quantum ravi model dr maiti will receive his degree certificate from professor ranjan shen may i request professor shen to please come forward now i request dr sir now i request dr bikash boron ghosh head of the department of chemistry to read out the names of the post graduating students of the department of chemistry and help them receive their degree certificates sir it is my privilege to call the post graduate student of the department of chemistry to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you pinaki khan he is the recipient of he is stood first pinaki khan rank first he is the recipient of kk banerji memorial silver medal for securing first position Raj Devnath, Raj Devnath, he stood second. He is the recipient of Swami Krishnamayananda Memorial Prize for securing second position. I mean, just the fact that ACT Act to be sure, I can tell you, hand tilted or come forward, can I?
Aritra Das. He stood third. He is the recipient of Shikha Guru Srutina Chakraborty Memorial Prize for securing third position. Tomonash Mundal. Shubhradeep Sarkar. He stood first in the fourth semester examination in 2022. Shubhayu Pal, Shubhayu Pal, next Onimesh Dotto, I think he is absent, Onirban Vishash, Onirban Vishash, Vishwajit Haoladar, Vishwajit Haoladar, Dinobandhu Sethi, Dinobandhu Sethi, Sadananda Bhoumik, Sadananda Bhoumik, Shoumo Patro Shoumo Patro Shubhudip Guchait Shubhudip Guchait Shaptorshi Mondol Shaptorshi Mundal Suroj Sarkar Suroj Sarkar And that's all. Thank you. Now is the Department of Computer Science. May I request Professor Siddhartha Banerjee, head of the department, to please come forward. Sir, it is my privilege to call the postgraduate students of the Department of Computer Science to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you. First, Sheikh Junaid. He is the recipient of Srimoti Jagodamba Devi Memorial Prize for securing first position. Second, Orpon Boiragi. Second, Orpon Boiragi. He is the recipient of Provas Chandra Chakravarti Memorial Prize for securing second position.
थार्ड सायंतन चक्रवर्ती हि इज द रिसिपेन्ट अफ श्रीमती विजन बाला देवी मेमोरियल प्राइज फर सिक्योरिंग थार्ड पजिशन नेक्स्ट तन्मय पाल राहुल देव भंडारी सुप्रभात दास नेक्स्ट अभिजित बराल देवजीत चक्रवर्ती शुभज्योति दास अरित्र जाना थैंक यू नाउ इज द टर्न फॉर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश एंड आई रिक्वेस्ट प्रोफेसर आर्य घोष हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट टू प्लीज कम फॉरवर्ड ए अरे जोरे हाथ ताली दाव तो It is almost three o'clock, late afternoon, and uh, the air-conditioned machine is so chill. Shonga dukko, Maharaj sir ka sthake khama chhe ni ek to photo bata English the bolchi ki ko pura kapal English the chhatro. Sir, it's my privilege to call the graduate students. Uh, first, PG students. So, sir, I change my stance. It is my privilege to call the postgraduate students of the Department of English. to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you if you allow sir first shourjo shengupto <laughs> he ranked first and also stood first in fourth semester recipient of shatodolo vashini memorial prize for securing first position second second oishak kor he is also the recipient of shatodol bashini memorial prize for securing second position third our versatile shovik ghosh a good scholar as well as a painter recipient of shatodol bashini memorial prize for securing third position फोर्थ तीर्थ बनार्जी शौर्य अभिषेक सौभिक तीर्थ दे अल्सो डिड देर ग्रेजुएशन फ्रम दिस डिपार्टमेंट
আমি ওখানে স্লো হচ্ছি ফাইভ রূপদীপ মন্ডল শিবাঙ্ক শিবাঙ্ক বীর শ্রীবাস্তব শুভজিৎ ঘোষ শুভজিৎ প্লিজ স্টে ফরওয়ার্ড শাগনিক ব্যানার্জি হাইলি ট্যালেন্টেড শাগনিক প্লিজ কাম ফরওয়ার্ড এন্ড এক্স স্টুডেন্ট অফ বেলুর বিদ্যা মন্দির শাগনিক কুনাল কুনাল শেঠ অর্ঘদীপ অর্ঘদীপ সর্দার নেক্সট অঙ্কুর মৈত্র ইলেভেন্থ কামস রুদ্রাক্ষ দাস অ্যান্ড ইন্টারন্যাশনালি অ্যাক্লাইন ফটোগ্রাফার রুদ্রাক্ষ দাস টুয়েলভ গৌরব দাস গৌরব দাস ফ্রম সাগরদ্বীপ থার্টিন প্রণব সাহা ফোর্টিনথ বাপন পুরকায় হাইলি ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াস বাপন ফিফটিনথ অয়নাভ মন্ডল লাস্ট বাট নট দ্য লিস্ট সিক্সটিনথ স্টুডেন্ট শাহাদাত ঢালি থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার now i request dr devabrato dash of the department of physics to please come forward and read out the names of his department sir it is my privilege to call the post graduate students of the department of physics to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you first gaurav samanto mr gaurav samanto is the recipient of annapurna banerji Memorial Silver Medal for securing first position. Second, Mr. Tathagata Bhattacharya. He is the recipient of Chitra Roop Chakravarti Memorial Prize. Just a minute. Please wait. Mr. Tathagata Bhattacharya, he stood second. He is the recipient of Chitradip Chakravarti Memorial Prize for securing second position and certificate for securing first position in the fourth semester. Third, Ritik Das absent. Then Vivek Mandal absent. Mr. Humayun Kovir absent. Aniruddhullaha absent, then Saptorsi Ghos, Saptorsi Ghos is present. Saptorsi Ghos, fine. Mr. Saurav Mridha absent, Halim Sheikh absent, Devasis Vera absent, Rajdeep Boral. Then Mohammad Mahasin absent, Paulus Sarkar absent, Mr. Savan Mandal Chakraborty, he is there. Savan Mandal Chakraborty is receiving the certificate. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May you please take your seat. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I request Dr. Koushik Ball to please come forward and 
hand over the certificates to our next round of students. Uh, I now request Dr. Pranab Kumar Sharkar, head of the Department of Bengali, to please come forward and call the names of the graduating students of his department. Sir, it is my privilege to call the graduate student of the Department of Bengali to come to the stage <laughs> in a file to receive their degree certificates from you. I am going to Secretary Maharaj প্রদান কনসন করে বাংলাতেই বলি আমাদের সৌভিক বিশ্বাস ও প্রথম হয়েছে শ্রীমতি কারণবালা দেবী মেমোরিয়াল প্রাইজ দ্বিতীয় সংকেত অনুপস্থিত তৃতীয় হয়েছে শুভ্রজিৎ হালদার সে পণ্ডিত নবকান্ত তরকার দর্শন তীর্থ এবং শ্রীমতী চারুবালা দেবী মেমোরিয়াল প্রাইজ পাবে এবং তৃতীয় হয়েছে এবং সিক্স সেমিস্টারে সে প্রথম হয়েছে শুভদীপ মন্ডলের পরে আসবে শুভজিৎ চতুর্থ পজিশন দখল করেছে এবং পণ্ডিত নবকান্ত তর্কর্ষণ তীর্থ এবং শ্রীমতী চারুবালা দেবী মেমোরিয়াল প্রাইজ সে পাচ্ছে অসীম কুমার দাস অমিতপুর কাইত সুদীপ্ত অধিকারী দীপ শিউলি সুশীল হালদার বিমান প্রামাণিক এই রূপম তো রূপম তোর কি বিমান তুই আগে নিসনি ও বিমান বিমান প্রামাণিক আমাদের এগারো জন স্টুডেন্ট রূপম মন্ডল আসেনি সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ I think your clap should be louder. Our principal Maharaj is clapping louder than you, so please. It's time for the Department of Chemistry, and I request Dr. Bikash Baran Ghosh, the head of the department. Sir, it is my privilege to call the graduate students of the Department of Chemistry to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you. Bastav Panja, he stood first. His jam rank is 11. He is the recipient of Jyotsna Bhattacharya Memorial Silver Medal for securing first class, first position in chemistry. Jyotsna Bhattacharya Memorial Silver Medal for securing first class, first position. Shourab Bhandari, he stood second. Shourab Bhandari, he stood second. He is the recipient of Dr. Shoilendra Jha Memorial Prize 
for securing first class second position. He is the recipient of Dr. Shailendra Memorial Prize for securing first class second position. Next, Shayan Jana. He stood third. Shayan Jana. He is the recipient of Pandit Bhavani Bhushan Sankhatitya Memorial Prize. Pandit Bhavani Bhushan Sankhatitya Memorial Prize for securing first class third position and also certificate for securing first position in the sixth semester examination. He secured first position in the sixth semester examination, means last semester examination. Vishwanath Pal, he stood fourth. He is the recipient of Dr. D.K. Mitra Memorial Prize, Dr. D.K. Mitra Memorial Prize for securing first class fourth position. Next, Jyotirmoy Mondal. Jyotirmoy Mondal. Sibartho Dotto. Sibartho Dotto. Sibartho was selected in TIFR. Srinath Borman, Srinath Borman, Devanjan Das, Devanjan Das secured 55 rank in JAM. Shankho Shubhra Samanto, Shankho Shubhra Samanto, Shomodip Maiti, Shomodip Maiti, Tuhin Das, Tuhin Das, Sekh Sagir Hushen, Sekh Sagir Hushen. Devanjan Chakravorti, Devanjan Chakravorti, Orno Beda, Orno Beda, Sudip Das, Sudip Das. Pulakesh Gain Pulakesh Gain Aminul Hasan Choudhuri Aminul Hasan Choudhuri Rahul Loskar Rahul Loskar Nirjhar Chakravorti, Nirjhar Chakravorti, Tathagato Mundal, Tathagato Mundal, Sibnath Soren, last not the least, Sibnath Soren, even Amit to Hattarajitchi. And that's all. Thank you, sir. Now, the Department of Computer Science. May I now request Professor Siddhartha Banerjee, head of the department, to please come forward. Sir, it is my privilege to call the graduate students of the Department of Computer Science to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you. 
first Shornodip Das. He is recipient of Srimoti Jagadamba Devi Memorial Prize for securing first class first position and certificate for securing first position in sixth semester examination. Second, Shobhan Sharka. He is the recipient of Prabhas Chandra Chakraborty Memorial Prize for securing first class second position. Third, Shauvik Pal. He is the recipient of Srimoti Bijan Baladevi Memorial Prize for securing first class third position. Fourth, Ayantanu Laha. He is the recipient of Poshupati Chakraborty Memorial Prize for securing first class fourth position. Next, Shottajit Devna. Rajorshi Shaha. Shoptik Nag. Shubhajit Pal. Shamim Piyada. Shomodip China. Shouram Shagor Bhagot. Oyon Naya. Thank you, sir. I request Professor Apurbo Ghosh of the Department of Economics to please come forward. A very good afternoon, sir. It is my privilege to call the graduate students of the Department of Economics to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from me. First, Ornam Mondal. He is the recipient of Professor Dhirendranath Dotto Memorial Prize for securing first class first position and certificate for securing first position in six semester examination. Second, Rupam Mondal, he is absent. Third, Rajoshi Chatterjee, he is the recipient of Pandit Tarapado Kabbo Bakaron Titho Memorial Prize for securing first class third position. Ongshu Agarwal, fourth. Ongshu Agarwal, fourth. 
He is the recipient of Pondi Tarapodo Kabbo Bakaron Tito Memorial Prize for securing first class fourth position. Shomen Kumar Dash. Shopnodi Patro Devobroto Roy Omrit Pal Bibashan Hajra and Sharjam Baske. Sharjam. Thank you, sir. Now is the turn for the Department of English and I request Professor Arjo Ghosh to please come forward. Thank you, Pranam. Sir, it is my privilege to call the graduate students of the Department of English to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you. First, Omar Roy. Omar is the recipient of the following prizes. Shudhang Shushakhar Chattopadhyay Memorial Prize for securing first class first position in English Honours Degree Examination 2023. Prize for securing first position in sixth semester examination. Second prize of Teresa May Award for best student essay on eco-criticism. Second, Shomdev Paul. Shomdev is the recipient of Tarapada Maithi Memorial Prize for securing first class second position. Third, Shoham Shamantu. Shoham Shamantu is the recipient of Indira Chatterjee Memorial Prize for securing first class third position. Shoham, please step forward. Fourth, Bangshidhar Doling. Bangshidhar, please step forward. He is the recipient of Indira Chatterjee Memorial Prize for securing first class fourth position. Fifth, Sharthak Ghosh. Sharthak is the recipient of the first prize of Teresa May Award for Best Student Essay on Eco-Criticism. Sixth, Onirban Ghatok. Ronak Paladhi. Onubhav Mojumdar, Titash Koyal, Shomik is absent, Vibhash, Vibhash Upadhyay, let's step forward Vibhash. Srijan Bishash, Srijan <coughs> 
नेक्स्ट एबसेंट अविनाश इज एबसेंट स्वप्नील चक्रवर्ती नेक्स्ट एबसेंट सोमदीप इज एबसेंट सैकत हजरा A final graduate student, Shomodi Brahmachari. Shomodi, please step forward. Thank you, sir. Now is the turn for the Department of History, and I request Professor Chandra Bhushan Rai, HOD, to please come forward. एखे आसब दाड़ीमें बेस कैकट डिपार्टमेंटर हेडेरा दाड़ी आलें अडियन्सर जो अवस्था देखी सामने बच्चों धरे बोधाय हाथताल रेकर्डा अडियो चलाते हैं क्यों सुनते है गो हाँ एक महाराज बोल तड़ी करते सर It is my privilege to call the graduate students of the Department of History to come to the stage in a file to receive their degrees certificates from you. Abhigyan Dotto. He is the recipient of uh, Pandit Rameshwar <coughs> Tarak Siddhanto and Srimati Charu Bala Devi Memorial Prize for securing first position. and also securing first position in the sixth semester examination dinesh pal recipient of dr nirmal kumar sen memorial prize for securing first class second position भूस्वामी मंडल रेसिपियंट अफ श्रीमती ननीबाला देवी मेमोरियल प्राइज फर सिक्योरिंग फार्स्ट क्लस थार्ड पजिशन भूस्वामी श्यामल माझी Recipient of Professor Praful Chandra Das Memorial Prize for securing first class fourth position. Shamol Maji. शेखावत खान शेखावत खान विश्वजीत गुड़िया सत नम्बर तन्मय दास आठ नम्बर रवि संजय रविदास नौ नम्बर गौरीशंकर मंडल दस अर्पण सें एगारो नम्बर नीलांजन बल्लभ बारो नम्बर शुभदीप मान्ना तेर नम्बर दीपायन घटक
प्लावन पांडा चौदह नंबर फिफ्टीन एंड लास्ट रमानंद सिंह सरदार हमारे पंद्रह जन छो पंद्रह जन ही प्रेजेंट थैंक यू सर department of mathematics now i request dr nonigopal mondol head of the department to please come forward sir it is my privilege to call the graduate students of the department of mathematics to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you nobarun sarkar he is the recipient of Professor Sudarshan Das Prize for securing first class first position and certificate of securing first class position first position in sixth semester examination. Oh. At present, Navarun is studying in ISI, Kolkata. Next, Rudranil Sau. He is the recipient of. He is also the recipient of Professor M L Nag Memorial Prize for securing first class second position. At present, he is studying in IISC Bangalore. Arnab Sarkar, he is also the recipient of Mrs. Sotibala Devi Memorial Prize for securing first class third position. Ayan Maithi, he is the recipient of Pandit Ramesh Sir, Torko Dors Torko Siddhan to Memorial Prize for securing first class fourth position. Next, Onimesh Manna. Next, Devasis Pal. Devjit Mandal. Mahadev Pal. Next, Srijit Purkait absent, Dev Kumar Bhakot absent, Somojit Roy. Vishwajit Mondal. Sayan Kumar Pal. Shumon Samanto Anupam Das Next, Tuhin Patro Next, uh, Arifali absent, Navanno Ghosh. Next, Devdatta Rai. Next, Sandipan Pandey.
नेक्स्ट पल्लव रॉय मंडल नेक्स्ट अरित्र दास नेक्स्ट सायनदीप घोष नेक्स्ट अतिन विश्वास एबसेंट नेक्स्ट शुभमय रॉय दैट्स ऑल फ्रॉम मैथमेटिक्स थैंक यू सर turn for the department of physics now i request dr devabrot dash of the department to please come forward sir it is my privilege to call the graduate students of the department of physics to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificate from you first mr sayon maiti he is the recipient of professor k p ghosh memorial prize for securing first class first position second ayon maiti his brother he is the recipient of professor k p rai choudhury memorial prize second mr ayon maiti brother of sayon maiti he is the recipient of professor k p rai choudhury memorial prize for securing first class second position third anupam pal he is the recipient of pandit Rameshwar and Srimati Charu Bala Devi Memorial Prize for securing first class third position and certificate for securing first position in the final semester examination Mr Anupam Pal Fourth Soumesh Ghatak Soumesh is the recipient of Devaprasad Ghosh Memorial Prize for securing first class fourth position. Soumesh Ghatak. Next, Arijit Maji. Wait. Arijit Maji. next jiti dev karmakar devanjan haldar subham pan नेक्स्ट तिग्नांशु तिग्नांशु दास नेक्स्ट सहदेव मंडल नेक्स्ट शिवदास मालिक मालिक देवज्योति पात्र एबसेंट शुभदीप मान्ना एबसेंट मिस्टर आबू सामद आबू नेक्स्ट रहमतुल्ला रहमतुल्ला शेख नेक्स्ट सैकत दे दीपंकर रॉय बीरेडी दीपंकर रॉय नेक्स्ट सौभिक रॉय जोरे हाथ ताली दाओ सौभिक हमारे एखे एम एस सी पढ़े 
Sophie Groy. Next, Snehang Subishoy. Snehang Subishoy. Next, Sauparna Pal. Sauparna. Sauparna Pal is receiving the certificate. Then, Aritra Saha. Aritra Saha. Last, Deva Prasad Pramanik. Deva Prasad. Thank you, sir. I now request Professor Shantanu Bhatt, Head of the Department of Philosophy, to please come forward. Sir, it's my privilege to call the graduate students of the Department of Philosophy to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you. First, uh, yes, I should mention it. Uh, this is our, this is the first batch of graduate first batch of of the philosophy department. Uh, first, Tapos Das. He has stood first in degree examinations and also in the sixth semester exam in 2023. Second, Chiranjit Pousdar, he has stood second in this degree examinations. Third, Ranojit Shardar, he has stood third in his degree examinations. Fourth, Shovi Ghosh, he has stood fourth in his degree examinations. Fifth, Ratsekhar Bormon. Sixth, Shapnendu Hor. Seventh, Gangoli Shori. Eight, Nitai Bishas. Ninth, Mohammad Rijuan Mohoshin Khan. Thank you, sir. I now request Dr. Pulokesh Sharkar, head of the Department of Political Science, to please come forward. Uh, sir, uh, it is my privilege to call graduate students of the Department of Political Science to come to the stage uh, in a file to receive their degree certificate from you. It is the first batch of students graduating with the BA honors in political science. Number one, the first, the serial first, uh, Onoy Mondol. He has stood first in his degree, uh, degree uh, examination and also, uh, in his sixth uh, semester examination in 
second Bishwajit Kundu. He has stood second in his degree examination in 2023. Third, Rakesh Giri. He has stood third in his degree examination. Next four, uh, Devayon Das. He has stood fourth in his degree examination. Fifth, Vishwajit uh, Dash. Vishwajit Dash. Sixth, Shondipun Hazda. Seventh, Shomojit Mondol, absent. Eight, Harushit Jodhar. Nine, Pralaya Singh. Last but not the least, Utpal Kumar Murmu. Thank you. Department of Sanskrit now, and I request Dr. Narayan Dash, head of the department, to please come forward. Sir, it is my privilege to call the graduate students of the Department of Sanskrit to come to the stage in a file to receive their degree certificates from you. First, Pritam Pai, he is the recipient of Pandit Navakant Tarkadarsana Tirtha Memorial Prize for securing first class first position and certificate for securing first position in sixth semester. Second, Buddha Dev Gochayat. He is the recipient of Nitya Mai Devi Memorial Prize and second position in uh, sixth sem. Sarat Sen. He is the recipient of Pandit Nilakant Nyaya Bhushana Memorial Prize for securing first class third position. Ajay Kumar Varda, he is the recipient of Pandit Nilak Navakand Tirka Tarka Darsana Tirtha. Uh, and Srimati Charuvela Devi Memorial Prize for securing first class fourth position. Then Samujit Haldar. Six Shiva Prasad Sarkar, seventh Ankan Nandi, eighth Sraman Naskar, ninth Umesh Varde. Thank you, sir. Now I request Dr. Partho Sharuthi Chakraborty of the Department of Statistics to please come forward.
আমাদের এই হায়ারার্কিতে র্যাঙ্কটা সিক্সটিন উই র্যাঙ্ক সিক্সটিন ইন দ্য হায়ারার্কি আমরা পরিবারের ছোট ছেলে একটু দুষ্টুমি করলে সব দুষ্টুমি আজ মাফ স্যার ইট ইজ মাই প্রিভিলেজ টু কল দ্য গ্র্যাজুয়েট স্টুডেন্টস অফ দ্য ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ স্ট্যাটিস্টিক্স টু কাম টু দ্য স্টেজ ইন আ ফাইল টু রিসিভ দেয়ার ডিগ্রি সার্টিফিকেটস ফ্রম ইউ রূপাঞ্জন মুখার্জি র্যাঙ্ক ফার্স্ট হি ইজ দ্য রিসিপিয়েন্ট অফ প্রফেসর মৃণাল কান্তি বসু মেমোরিয়াল প্রাইজ ফর সিকিউরিং ফার্স্ট ক্লাস ফার্স্ট পজিশন জোরে তালি দে জ্যামে ফার্স্ট আইএসআইতে থার্ড আমাদের প্রত্যেকটা ছেলেই ভালো ওটা খুব একটা ম্যাটার করে না অর্ণব রক্ষিত র্যাঙ্ক সেকেন্ড হি ইজ দ্য রেসিপিয়েন্ট অফ শ্রীমতি কাদম্বনী দেবী মেমোরিয়াল প্রাইজ ফর সিকিউরিং ফার্স্ট ক্লাস সেকেন্ড পজিশন অ্যান্ড অলসো সার্টিফিকেট ফর সিকিউরিং ফার্স্ট পজিশন ইন সিক্স সেমিস্টার এক্সামিনেশন ও আইএসআইতে পড়ছে সবাই কে কোথায় পড়ছে আমি জানি বলছি না স্ট্যাটিস্টিক্সের এস আর টি মানে উনিশ বিশ অরিজিৎ রয় র্যাঙ্ক থার্ড হি ইজ দ্য রেসিপিয়েন্ট অফ শ্রীমতী কিরণবালা দেবী মেমোরিয়াল প্রাইজ ফর সিকিউরিং ফার্স্ট ক্লাস থার্ড পজিশন জোরে তালি দে প্রিয়ম পাল র্যাঙ্ক ফোর্থ হি ইজ দ্য রেসিপিয়েন্ট অফ শ্রীমতী শান্তিবালা দেবী মেমোরিয়াল প্রাইজ ফর সিকিউরিং ফার্স্ট ক্লাস ফোর্থ পজিশন ঋতঙ্কর বন্দ্যোপাধ্যায় র্যাঙ্ক ফিফথ কৌস্তুভ মন্ডল র্যাঙ্ক সিক্স আনিরুল ইসলাম র্যাঙ্ক সেভেন্থ প্রিয়ঙ্কর সামন্ত র্যাঙ্ক এইট নীলেশ গিরি র্যাঙ্ক নাইন্থ রাজরানা বর্মন র্যাঙ্ক টেন্থ সুদীপ্ত সরকার র্যাঙ্ক ইলেভেন সার্ভিল অমিত ওজারকার ও পুনেতে আছে আসতে পারেনি আমরা মিস করছি ওকে সৌরভ মহারা র্যাঙ্ক থার্টিন সিদ্ধার্থ বিশ্বাস র্যাঙ্ক ফোরটিন দেবজিৎ কর্মকার র্যাঙ্ক ফিফটিন সপ্তর্ষি নন্দী র্যাঙ্ক সিক্সটিন আপনি বললেন তো পেজ বাড়ি ওকে ওকে আমেদ ইকবাল সুমিত সানা সৌমজিৎ দাস জ্যোতিষ্ক পাত্র পাক্কি ভেঙ্কাটা পাবন কার্তিকেয়া গোলাম সাহিল চিস্তি সুমন পাল মোহাম্মদ ওবায়দুল্লাহ
Thank you, sir. Please take your seat. Thank you for so tirelessly and energetically giving the certificates to our students. Uh, you have really made their day special. Uh, it's a, a special section, really. Uh, please, our present students, uh, please remain seated. We have some special prizes for our fresh graduates. I request our Vice Principal Maharaj to conduct this part of the program. And I also request Revere Secretary Maharaj to give away the prizes. We have some special prizes for the best academic excellence and extracurricular activities. I request the students to come onto the stage and collect the prizes from Secretary Maharaj. Sri Anirvan Vishwas, recipient of Swami Lokeshwarananda Award for best all-round performance from PG course. Next, Sri Nilanjan Ballab, recipient of Swami Lokeshwarananda Award for best all-round performance from UG course. He is from Department of History. Next, Sri Navarun Sarkar from Department of Mathematics, recipient of Swami Asaktananda Award for best all-round performance from UG Science course. Next, Sri Avigyan Datta from Department of History, recipient of Swami Aksarananda Award for best all-round performance from UG Arts Group. Next, Sri Vasta Panja from Department of Chemistry, the recipient of Dr. P. C. Rakshit Award for best all-round performance in the Department of Chemistry. Next, Sri Rupanjan Mukherjee from Department of Statistics, recipient of Professor Anil Bhattacharya Award for best all-round performance from the Department of Statistics. Again, Sri Nilanjan Ballab from Department of History, Recipient of Major P. R. Das Award for Best All-Round Performance in Game and Sports. Next, Sri Amor Roy from Department of English. Recipient of Professor K. C. Ghosal Memorial Prize for Best All-Round Performance in the Department of English. Next, Somdev Pal from Department of English, recipient of Tarabada Maiti Memorial Prize, donated by Simati Priti Kona Mullik for most active involvement in cultural activities in the Department of English. Again, Abhigyan Datta 
recipient of Kankana Mandal Memorial Prize for best all-round performance in the Department of History. Next, Subhrajit Haldar from Department of Bengali, recipient of Karnadhar Kalomani Sarkar Prize for best all-round performance in the Department of Bengali. Sri Pritam Paik from Department of Sanskrit, recipient of Pandit Navaganta Tarkadarsana Tirtha Memorial Prize for best all-round performance in the Department of Sanskrit. The last one, Shivartha Datta from Department of Chemistry, recipient of Dr. Prabhat Kumar Mandal Merit Kam Means Prize for best all-round performance in the Department of Chemistry. Thank you, sir. I now request our Vice Principal Maharaj, Brahmachari Kedara Chaitanya Ji, uh, to deliver the formal vote of thanks. Om Namo Bhagavati Ramakrishnayam. Good afternoon, everyone. We are almost at the verge of this program. On behalf of the Ramakrishna Mission Residential College, Narendrapur, we would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude and thanks to our chief guest, Professor Ranjan Sen, Director, Indian Association for the Cultivation of Science, IACS, for accepting our invitation to be with us this afternoon and for delivering an inspiring convocation address. I am sure the fresh graduates will remember and reflect on those words of wisdom for years to come. We also thank Professor Shanta Datta De, the Honorable Vice Chancellor, for her message to the graduate and undergraduate students. Unfortunately, she couldn't come today. Our sincere thanks go to the president of this ceremony, Dr. Koushik Bal, Honorable Development and Planning Officer, University of Calcutta, for agreeing to come here at such short notice and delivering the presidential address and conferring the degrees to the students. Our humble pronouns to revere Swami Sastagranandaji Maharaj, Secretary, Ramakrishna Mission Ashram, Narendrapur, for his welcome address. Revere Maharaj's inspiration and guidance has enabled the college to organize its activities with ease. We are indebted to all our kind and generous donors who have sponsored various prizes that are given out during this ceremony. Our heartfelt thanks and appreciation go to them. I also offer my pronouns to all sadhus and brahmacharins who have graced this occasion. Many thanks to our alumni, guests, oil wishers, and invitees, including the members of Narendrapur Ramakrishna Mission Mahavidyalaya Praktani for attending this ceremony. Our sincere thanks and respectful namaskars to Professor Prashant Kumar Giri and Vikas Chandra Sanyal for attending the program. Now, although they are very much the host of this ceremony, I would still take this opportunity to sincerely thank our wonderful and committed teaching and non-teaching staff, the hostel staff, who have worked hard and ensured smooth proceedings of the ceremony. Thanks to Aritra and Shankhadeep for Vedic chanting. We also thank the stage decoration team, flower decoration team, audio visual team, cleaning team, and the band of enthusiastic student volunteers. Last but not the least, I thank you all, the new graduates, postgraduates, and PhD who made it all the way to this convocation ceremony despite hindrance and other commitments. We hope this event will be cherished by you all for many years to come. Your presence in large numbers has touched our hearts and has made this event a success. Thanks to Professor Pranav Kumar Mandal for comparing the whole session. We once again congratulate you all for this milestone and may the blessings of Sri Sri Thakur, Ma and Swamiji 
बी एभार अपन यू अल थैंक यू वन सेकेंड टू वन एंड अल जय रामकृष्ण Before we move on to the end of today's program by singing the national anthem, I have an important announcement to make. After the national anthem is over and after the distinguished guests leave the auditorium, I request our students to quietly exit the auditorium. Today's fresh graduates, along with their guests and guardians, are requested to have the refreshments from the canteen on the ground floor of the annex building of this college respected monastic members alumni and other guests are requested to go to the lounge on the ground floor of the annex building the teaching non teaching staff members and research scholars are requested to have the refreshments at the meeting room of the exam department on the third floor of the annex building The present students are requested to go to the dining room of Brahmananda Bhavan to have their refreshments. Kindly avoid using the lift outside the exit or to the right side of the stage so that our respected dignitaries may have a smooth send off. Now we will end this ceremony with our national anthem which will be conducted by Swami Shivadhishananda ji Maharaj of our college. जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड़ बिंद हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उछल जल धितरंग तब शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाधे तव जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे शांति 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 हरि ओ तत्सत्कृष्णापणमस्तु जय श्री गुरु महाराज जी की जय जय महाय की जय जय स्वामी जी महाराज जी की जय जय गंगा माई की जय